Oh, hi, Hoseki. Hello. Hello, Jemlings. It's me, Chris Tellus. Carbuncle... Guy. I was gonna say, sparkling carbuncle idol, but, um... D do I look like a Tenseki... Ten... Tensek... Tensei Tekna Idol Sama. Is that it? I know an Izaru's cover of that. He overpronounces, um, the word idol. Where's the background music? Thank you. I know in uh, Kanada Izaru's cover of Idol, he overpronounces the word idol. He's like, Tensei Teki na Idol Sama. Apple made a doll? Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> it makes me think Apple made a doll. Anyway, that has nothing to do with this stream. You know what does? The fact that I'm completely incompetent at opening cans. I opened a can of Tango, right? Because I like Tango. It's, this, this is a great thing. It's a great drink. They have a mango flavor now. Uh, so, yeah, I took a bunch of cans of Mango Tango home from Asda. Mm. I'll say any supermarket, you'll have no idea which one, because most of the people watching this are Americans. Wow. Kai Gai Niki. Um, I don't know any Japanese. <laughs> Uh, I know, I know how to read, um, a bit of Japanese, but, like, that's for songs and stuff, like, ooh, I think that I, there was a VTuber who said, like, Japanese songs, Japanese singing sounds more like an instrument than Western songs, and I'm gonna, I mean, like, like they both sound like instruments. That's what singing is. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but some instruments sound like this, and some instruments sound like, ow, mm. Wow, my American identity has been discovered. Who would have thought the, uh, <laughs> the crossover between a jo gemling and a whatever Bo has is American. <laughs> I was playing some Splatoon 3, and right as the stream started, I was getting killed <laughs> left and right. <laughs> then it crashed. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry about that. I, I'm gonna take blame for that, even though I have nothing to do with that. I, I should be giving you good luck. I'm a carbuncle. Hmm. I got bad luck earlier. I, this has happened twice. This has happened twice. Where I've opened a can of Tango, right? I've opened a can of Tango, and it's just exploded onto the fucking carpet. It's not... I... Why? Why did this happen twice? First time, you didn't know it was gonna happen. Second time, you're like, it won't happen again. It happens again. The third time, I'm gonna open this shit over the bath so it doesn't explode. Or I'm gonna get my dad to do it, and it's... Because it's funny. <laughs> because it would be funny. <laughs> to see it explode all over him. <laughs> god, I got a text from Vodafone. Oh my god, uh, you can earn, create, you can make your broadband better. Do they not know I don't pay for the broadband? I pay for the gas. <laughs> I pay for the heating, what do you mean? <laughs> and he pays for the internet. Mm, we're, 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 a pro, we're a pro team of adulting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, although, adulting, boring. Let's relive our high school days. Yeah. Katawa Shoujo. Okay. Or at least maybe my high school days, because... I'm the one with a disability here. <laughs> it's called being a VTuber. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Um, where were we? Where were we last time? I think... If I click on loading the thing, I think the, the text might... Oh, track meeting, because we met... Emmy? Yeah, it was Emmy. I'm gonna have to do a girl voice. I have to do lots of girl voices when I do uh, Katawa Shoujo, because the, the title, Katawa Shoujo, Disability Girls. Uh, there's lots of girls in it, so of course I gotta voice them. What sort of a streamer would I, what sort of a male VTuber would I be if I couldn't... <clears throat> if I couldn't... Pretend to be the other gender. Switch my gender to F to M. What am I, fucking world execute me? God damn. No, no, I don't switch it. I... Graphic design. Oh yeah, I did make Sparky a thing. I'm, I'm probably gonna talk about that later if it comes up. If Rin shows up, I'm gonna be like, she's an artist, I'm an artist, let's go, she's best girl. Okay, I'm not an artist, but I'm a graphic designer. Which is kind of artist, but like with more software and less paintbrushes. I've updated the overlay, if you can't tell. Um, there's there's no more big gaudy logo with my name on it. <laughs> because, I mean, we still have the logo, but it's just in other places. It's, uh, it's on my channel banner. It's not... 
in the overlay because it took up too much space. I want room for like uh, the game logos because I like, I like when VTubers have that on their stream. I'm like, oh my god, they d they downloaded an SVG.png <laughs> and chucked it in the corner of an overlay. I can't believe it. Graphic design is my passion. There's also more, more room for the gemlings if you look up here. Yeah, there's more room for you guys to uh, talk, speak, do things. Right, um, am I good at streaming still? I took the day off yesterday because I was watching Breaking Bad with my dad. We're never gonna finish this fucking visual novel, are we? I just keep yapping. <laughs> oh man, okay, let's get back on with- <gasps> Let's go! Oh my god, we got the- <laughs> I'm getting fucking slaughtered here. I missed that because it was on top chat, not live chat. Oh my god, I have so much space to be random. Exactly, Rosie. Exactly, Rosie. Uh, I'm bigger than usual on um, on this thing. Because it's a square. This uh, The visual novels are a square, usually. Square aspect ratio. Unless it was Class of 09, but why would I play Class of 09? And oh god, it's too loud, isn't it? Let me... Sorry, let me just listen to this on my phone here. See if it's... It's not too loud. Okay, never mind. Um, I just tested it on my phone. That's why my phone's here as well. As um, <laughs> that's why my phone's here, so I can uh, make sure the the actual audio of the thing's not too loud. So yeah, I'll, I'll turn it down a tad. There we go. There we go. Mm, there we go. Thirty-three mm. percent to seventy-two percent. Wow. Why do you care about winning a turf war? <laughs> Why do you care about winning a turf war? Well, turf war is like the least important game mode in all of Splatoon. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I can't believe we lost the casual game mode. I should play Splatoon sometime. I didn't stream the Splatfest. I wasn't streaming on that weekend, but hmm. can I legally blame you for that one as well? Why do you care about turf war? It sounds like I'm trying to deflect the blame. Um, I might be. <laughs> Uh, uh, um, I, I, uh, 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 let's just read the damn visual novel. <laughs> <clears throat> the morning's, the morning sunlight streaming through my window wakes me up instead of my alarm. And then I realize it must be Sunday. What, because the sun's out, it must be Sunday, ha ha ha. I used to hallucinate smells as a child and I thought that was what the sun smelled like. I was like, oh. Like one time I, hall I hallucinated the smell of bacon. And I thought, oh, the sun smells like bacon today. That's a glimpse into my fucked up childhood. Uh, <laughs> not my teenhood, my childhood. Right, anyway. Emmy has kindly, it is kindly deigned to give me weekends off from our running runs. Okay, so she's not a complete bitch. Mm. I don't actually know, have I woke up at all yesterday? Or have I just slept through the entire day? Life hack for sleeping better. Um, I didn't sleep well at all, until I decided, okay, I'm just gonna sleep with my clothes on. Because <laughs> usually I, um, you know, don't. <laughs> usually I don't. But, um, recently I've said, okay, clearly, something's wrong with my sleeping. How do I fix this? Oh, right, just be less cold, Lamau. <laughs> we live in England. It, it's technically the summer, um, in three days, but... It's still gonna be cold because it's England. We, we live in the coldest fucking country that's not called Russia. <laughs> or Antarctica. There's lots of cold countries, but England's the most notorious. Canada's cold as well. I have a story about Canada. We, we, I should do a Zart suit on so I can just talk. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. Yeah, I have, um... Might as well get this story on the road now that I've started it. Um... I have a friend who was going to move to Canada, and and he couldn't, his job didn't let him, like, his dad's job didn't let him move, uh, but he was like, oh my god, Canada, that sounds cool, it, it sounds better than England, mm. anything sounds better than England, uh, like, fictional Japan, that's where this game's set, fictional Japan, it's not a game, it's a visual novel, it's fictional Japan, um, a lot of place. Uh, it's written by 4chan root users, of course, it's fictional Japan. <laughs> right, right. Let's get on with Hisao's thingy. 
and then I can yap more about what actually happens in the thing. Do people, do people get bored of me yapping? Probably. Why do I use the word yapping so much? I... It's just talking. What do you have against talking? <laughs> okay, let's get on with this shit. I'm, I'm like my dad, god. Hmm. If you think I'm bad at yapping, go just... Just look at my dad. He started picking up... <laughs> the guitar. And then sometimes he's playing the guitar. You're trying to have a conversation. <laughs> and he's like... <laughs> he's like... <laughs> he's like, oh, and another thing. <laughs> Oh my god, he's... He's ADHD, I'm autism, oh god, I think we're a power couple. If we, if, you know, if... If he wasn't my dad. <laughs> As opposed to non-fictional Japan. Okay, I've looked it up if the school in this, um, if the school in Katawa Shoujo could be a real thing. And apparently it would have to be the size of a city. It would be the size of a city in Japan, so, um... No. No. They do have skill- they do have skills for, um... They do have skills for helping the disabled in Japan. But they don't have, um... Like, anything for, like, everybody at the same time. Like, it's like they have schools for the blind, schools for the deaf, and stuff like that. But, like, not all together, like in- like in this one. This- this- in- in this one, they changed it. They made this fictional setting just to, um... You know, to fix- aid with the narrative. That's what they did. Yeah, yeah, they aided with the narrative, because... Media literacy, yeah, hmm. I, I'm just gonna say that, and we're gonna carry on. I love to flex my guitar skills. <laughs> it's just like I love to flex my vocal skills, except... That's what a conversation is. <laughs> that's, what a, that's what a stream is. That's what the karaoke stream yesterday was. I... Karaoke. Oh god, I... I wasn't happy with the karaoke I did. I mean, I did pretty good, but I, I should have practiced. <laughs> I should have practiced the uh, words more. My, uh, my Nihongo was not all Josu at yes, yesterday Monday. God, it, I, I <laughs> I'm so addicted to streaming. When I don't stream, it's like a day didn't even happen. <laughs> oh man, I did start recording my shorts yesterday. Not the article of clothing, the YouTube thingy. Um, yeah. Yeah, I was inspired by... What is I inspired by? Oh, I can't say, can I? Hmm. I was inspired by another VTuber, let's just say, and they've graduated. Mm. So they won't get mad that I stole their idea, because they've graduated. <laughs> oh, man. Hi, Zaki. Hi, Zaki. Welcome back to Katawa Shoujo, where I don't read the fucking game. <laughs> I don't read the text. Okay, let's figure out... Um, how he saw, uh, gets over... He doesn't have to exercise today. In the narrative. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Hmm. Hmm. And during a conversation too, my ADHD won't let me not play during a five minute time period if I have it in a vicinity. Oh god, that is literally what my dad does. Okay, so he does have ADHD. Hmm. Um, right, what else? I mean, he does have a diagnosis. I have an autism diagnosis somewhere. It's so old, it's still called Asperger's. It's still called Asperger's. Oh, man. Anyway, um, that reminds- that ADHD thing, it reminds me- I was talking to Sparky yesterday. Um, cause I was doing the, you know, the schedule graphic design. He asked me to make that schedule thingy. And I brought up Avalition's gem collab for Hoseki no Kuni ending. Um, I need to actually read the manga. I've only watched the anime. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, I like Phosphophyllite. He's... She's... They're not gender fluid, they're gendered crystal. Hmm. <laughs> anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. He's, he was playing RuneScape while watching Kamen Rider, while sorting this out, and talking to someone else, and also being really tired. Goddamn. I think... All of Rubylite is just like... We have... Some fucked up shit going on in our brains. <laughs> it's like... Autistic. ADHD. Texas. Texas. <laughs> anyway. My legs groan in protest as I lever myself out of bed. Welcome to my world. That's what my legs are like, just normally. <laughs> oh, man. All this... I'm laughing, because otherwise I'd be crying. All this running has really taken it out of me. Still, I can't deny that Emmy was, wasn't lying to me. Wait. Wait a minute, let me just... Wait a minute. 
I'm paranoid. Reverb's not turned on. I I literally tested the audio like 10 minutes before the stream. I did. Hmm. I, I, some, I get very paranoid about... Did I remember to leave reverb on? Because when I streamed on Twitch, I would, um... I would leave reverb on. For no reason. <laughs> oh no, after... And then people would know when I've been trying to record, like, practice for a cover. And they'd be like, oh, you've been you've been listening to re... You've, oh, you, you got... No one would tell me I had reverb on. <laughs> yeah, it's the, streaming's the sort of thing where you have to figure it out on your own, basically. Um, because... Your audience might just think, wow, this is... That's a weird stream. They won't think, oh, oh, he, he wants to know if the audio's too loud. <laughs> Or they have it on the background, and they're like, I want to help him, but I can't. <laughs> That's probably it. Anyway. It's gone a little easier. I've been worried that the runs would start to wear on my ner- <laughs> The runs. Does he know that it's British slang for diarrhea? Mm. But thus far, I haven't minded them that much. Well, it's only been a week. I suppose there's plenty of time for me to start dreading the sound of my alarm in the morning. He's out. Put your alarm somewhere you can't reach it. Then it'll wake you up easier. I know he's not real, but he did... I'm also talking to the audience, like that one episode of Breaking Bad where they got their funding cut. Wait, no, what? The writer's strike, that's what it was. The writer's strike in Breaking Bad, and they, they made a shit episode on purpose. <laughs> and the fly was like... Uh, there was like a fly in the meth lab, which was like... This is you... The guys who hired the writers pay us more, and we'll make a good episode. <laughs> uh, some sort of metaphor, I don't know. I like metaphors. I got a 9 in English when I was in high school, so... That's like a... No, I didn't get a 9, I got a... 8... So... I got like a 7, that's like an A-. minus. Um, so pretty good. Pretty good. In American, that's A-. minus. In British, that's... 7. Yeah, and I got a 9 in sociology because that's literally just... I'm pretty sure that's literally the same skill set you use in streaming. <laughs> oh no. As Emmy said, it's harder to stop a routine when there's another person. And frankly, I don't think I'm equipped to deal with a disappointed Emmy. She'd probably give me those puppy dog eyes and I'd feel terrible about myself. Which reminds me, wasn't I supposed to be there be somewhere today? Hey, you're coming to the track meet on Sunday, right? What am I talking about? Of course you are. Right? Those puppy dog eyes again. Of course I'm going. I owe you, right? Exactly. So don't forget, okay? I, I'm making her sound like a toad. I, My girl voice is always changed because I'm not a girl. <laughs> Crap, how he's tracked me. I better get a move on if I don't want to miss her running, since she's only the... Since she's the only reason I'm even considering going. Otherwise, it'd defeat the whole purpose of going. Hmm... I've, um, been practicing my diction, so, uh, my dad brought that up, actually. He's like, he's like, hey, Chris, I was watching one of your streams, and you don't talk very good, so, uh, practice your diction. And I, I guess I kind of did that but today, because I was practicing songs for a, um, karaoke stream next week. You're gonna, you're gonna love it. You're gonna, I'm not telling you the theme, but you're gonna love it. It's gonna be, let's just say it's something I'm well known for. Hmm. <laughs> But yeah, um, if a song's in Japanese, I like, I have to try harder to read the damn words because they're not in English. I'm like, uh, I only just realized that an O on its own can be spelled wa. That's how you spell wa in, in um, Ramaji. I didn't, I didn't know that. <laughs> I've only just realized that from uh, practicing Godish, Kamiponya. That's not gonna be on the, the karaoke, it's just... I finally did the fast bit of uh, Kamiponya, it's so... I don't have the words in front of me. <laughs> and then I take a sip of Mango Tango. Don't explode next time. It's gonna explode next time. We have too much... I, think my... I don't even know what I call this. Soft drinks? We have too many soft drinks in this house. I'm not saying we don't have enough alcohol, but we... We have so much iron brew that my dad's like... Do you want some iron brew? And I don't drink iron. I don't like iron brew. I don't. It, it tastes too artificial. I say this when I like the taste of artificial cherry. I'm a bit of a hypocrite, but I like artificial cherry. I don't like because that's like at least it's an artificial flavor based on something. 
but like iron brew is supposed to be bubblegum flavor and that just sounds like fake sugar flavor I who who would eat that who would drink that I don't understand sorry if there's any Scots in the audience sorry if there's any Scottish people sorry I Sorry if there's any Scottish people in the audience, but I, I don't like Iron Brew. I don't care for it. <laughs> Ooh, bubblegum flavor. Exactly, exactly. Uh, there's an alcohol, actually, in England called um, Blue Wicked. My mum likes it. Um, Mama Talis, she likes it, but she doesn't. I don't think it tastes good. <laughs> I like cider. My favorite alcohol is cider. Um, yeah. Because uh, I just like, I like the taste of fruit. I like my drinks fruity, and if people think, oh my god, that's a bit girly of you. What do you mean? It's fruit. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, the most masculine thing you can do is not give a shit what you drink. <laughs> uh, because you might think people think you're less of a man for drinking cider instead of bitter. No one wants to drink bitter. <laughs> Fruit is always number one. Exactly. Ex ba, 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 da, da, ba, 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 I gotta read this shit. Ah. Okay, let's get on with the actual fucking <laughs> visual novel. God. Oh, uh, God, this... Am I ADHD? I could be. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. I'm more well put together than my dad, in my own opinion. So I don't know, maybe I have it, but not as bad. Or maybe I have something else because of the autism diagnosis I forgot I had. <laughs> uh, anyway. And so, I f soon find myself suddenly surrounded by a crowd of people. All turning out to see our track team complete with another school like this one. There are multiple schools coming together? Holy shit. Oh wait, this is Hisawa's thoughts. Are we gonna... let me just... No, I'm not gonna reverb. I'm, the, my reverb set to karaoke reverb, and I don't want to set that up. Um, I'll admit it. It's almost comforting to know we're we're not the only school like this. After you see that there can be two schools with a bunch of <laughs> defective kids, well, you stop feeling so defective. I don't feel defective because what I have, I was born with. <laughs> I was born fucked up. I don't really... I'm on the right track, baby. I was born this way. I don't even know the rest of... Is that Lady Gaga? I don't know the rest of her songs. I just know that one because it fits my situation. Mm. I don't even know the words. I just know that bit of the song. I... I was forced to listen to a bunch of normal music when I was growing up. Oh, I know. Imagine if I found Vocaloid then. It would have been so much better. Ah... You hey the car ikamini you hey jelly coney nanki darling I heard I heard King once and I was like damn this shit this shit's way better than Ed Sheeran this shit's way better than <laughs> That's how I found Hollow Life mm. through Risu's um King cover and I was like god damn And then I found Suise and I was like Anata Hoshi I've tried that alarm out of reach thing it always makes me to where I can't hear it to when it doesn't wake up, wake me up. Um, see, what I do is, on my phone, um, it can vibrate. Because I have my phone set to vibrate for everything. Some people say they find that annoying. They're like, how do you hear that? It's a phone on wood. My desk's made of wood. And, like, my bed's on the other side of the room. Um, I'm not sure if I've shown anybody. I don't want to show anybody. What if it... What if the shape of my room doxes me? Hmm. Anyway, yeah, because my my desk's made made of wood. I have my phone set to vibrate, and it vibrates really loud. And then my brain's just like, oh god, what the fuck? Oh, fucking. And then by the time you're over there and you turn it off, your brain says, okay, we're up now. Well, but well, well. Sometimes I uh, I get up, and um. I have to get up to- I have to, like, climb up on my bed to open the curtains and the blinds. I can't sleep unless I'm in total darkness. Um, I'm truly a carbuncle. Uh, we already knew this. We already knew this! Um, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so sometimes I just turn on my computer. 
I just turn on my computer to get the uh, blue light from that to wake me up. Uh, replacement sun. That's probably not healthy, but I'll. But I just do it for like 15 minutes until. Okay, my eyes work now, and then I then I just actually open the curtain. Mm. Right. So yeah, that's my morning routine. I have a coffee before I brush my teeth. Mm. Replacement sun. <laughs> it's. Is that a is that a good life hack or a bad life hack? I don't know. I might put that in the short. <laughs> I've not actually written that script yet. I've been kind of procrastinating. Well, I call it procrastinating. I've been practicing my singing instead. Mm. Anyway. Mm. You'll you also stop feeling unique, which in most cases would be a bad thing, but in this case it sure as hell isn't. What do you mean? I mean, I feel unique, but that's not because of my muscular dystrophy. That's because of my personality. <laughs> uh, I guess that's part of your market. That's what it's called. Appeal. I made the tweet because I forgot it. I, my going live tweet was literally, I forgot what the school in Katawa Shoujo was called. Because it's like... You see the name Katawa Shoujo. You don't see Yamaku Academy. Hmm. Learn that you're not unique. Hell, that there's a lot of others who would kill to be saddled with your problem instead of what they're dealing with. Some of the kids here aren't here because they're missing a leg or they have a heart condition, but one of them is best girl, Rin. <laughs> Some of them might be here because they're as good as dead in two, maybe three years and they're lucky. And that's only if they get the right sort of ca cancer. Damn, a game made by 4chan had the tech to not just say the word cancer. Hmm. This was probably made when that was like a used as an insult. It probably is still used as an insult. I don't know, I, I like to get more creative with my insults. I call some people hydrated croutons. <laughs> oh man, I Reddit has done things to my brain that cannot be cured. <laughs> it's fine. It's a bit of sort of comfort. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah, we are up to that bit. It's a bit of sort of comfort to be able to say, hmm, well, at least I've got chance of being alive through college. But there it is. For some reason, my doctor was like, it's a miracle you're still able to walk. What do you mean? I... Damn, I have a... I must have a heart of iron. Wow. Oh my god. I'm... <laughs> wow, just like Iron Mouse, for real. <laughs> I barely watch her, but... Mm. I'm brought out of my rather morbid musings to the appearance of Rin near the... Let's go! Rin is here! You came... Of course, I said I would, would, didn't I? That doesn't necessarily imply you had to carl through. Lots of people say things they don't mean then. Well, I don't. Ren shrugs, seemingly bored with our conversation. She turns on her heel and heads back towards the step. Ren, come back! <laughs> I owe Emmy money now. Why's that? I didn't think you'd show up. Emmy did. I owe her 300 yen. You two bet an awful lot, don't you? Don't bet the house always wins. My stepdad is a conspiracy theorist, but he bets on things. That makes no goddamn sense. He's a hypocrite. <laughs> oh, no. He's like, you know the world's gonna end on April 6th. When the world doesn't end on April 6th, I'm gonna be like, told you so. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. I told you so. I told you so. Why do you bet on football? The house always wins. Are you sure there's not a conspiracy theory about that? God damn. Anyway. You two bet a whole lot, don't you? I have a shrug from my armless companion. I didn't think so. We enter the bleachers and Rin nods upwards. Up there. I came out to see if you'd come. Did they... They didn't draw the bleachers, did they? Does Brown Academy- does Brown University not have bleachers? That might explain why they're not here. Cause all the pictures are of Brown University in this game. Um, visual novel. I keep calling it a game, it's not a game. <laughs> There's no gameplay. The, the gameplay is read. <laughs> the gameplay is reading. <laughs> oh. mm. For the best, I presume. Rin leads the way, and soon we're settled down to an almost be empty bench. Um, there's an older woman sitting next to Rin. Someone's mother, I assume. She is in a different fucking art style. She's got rather long hair done up in a braid. On seeing Rin, she gives her an oddly familiar seeing grin. 
Uh, gemlings, what voice do we give her? What voice do we give a woman with braid? Um, well, this is surprising. Well, this is surprising. Well, well, ain't that surprising, y'all? There we go. There we go. We're giving her <clears throat> Texan woman because we have Texan man. That's the nurse. We don't have Texan woman yet, so yeah. Hmm. I thought you went to get a snack, not a boy. Huh? A snack. I wondered why I was down there. The woman laughs, again in a way that feels familiar. Where have I seen her before? Well, I suppose y'all have always been gone. One to go out for one thing and bring back another. Uh, but I'm being rude. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Miko Ibarashi, Emmy's mother. Pleased to meet ya. Well, that explains it. She's like a taller, older, and better endowed Emmy. He's out. No. Bad, he's out. Stop being horny for her mother. Why are you horny for Emmy's mother? Bad. Hits you with an Andro. <laughs> oh, man. Apart from her hair and being a... Uh, can you tell this was written by 4chan users? <laughs> You didn't have to mention her boobs. You drew them. You didn't have to. Apart from her hair being a darker shade than Emmy's, there's really no mistaking the resemblance. Sorry, I'm Hisao. Hisao Nakai. And really, you don't have to apologize for not introducing yourself, Miss Ibara Ibarazaki. Miss Ibarazaki. I... Japanese. I'm not Nihongo Josu. Ah! <laughs> oh, man. That's really Rin's job in this situation, isn't it? Another laugh from Emmy's mother. I'll take it you're not known you're not known Rim for that long then. It's best not to expect her to remember something like that. She's got other things to talk about too, I assume. Ren nods, hmm, seeming pleased by this assessment. She's right. I was thinking about sunsets. You see, it's really up to us to make introductions in the lack. For lack of any better response, I nod. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was that poignant? It's really up to us to make introductions and the like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like... I was gonna say something about VTubers. That's like when VTubers do a debut stream. Um, yeah, they gotta... That's the first impression. What more, more... The most people show up to a debut stream, unless you're an indie, in which case no, no one's ever heard of you, so... Why would they show up to your debut? But if you're in a company, and you debut, that's like... You're gonna get the most views, usually, in a company. Um, and you wanna- you wanna wow people. FaZe Connect used to be bad at this. FaZe Connect used to just... throw out VTubers and not really give them much of an introduction. And then when FaZe Connect Gen 3 came out, I was like... Two of these people have original songs in their debut. Oh my god! <laughs> oh man. Like, uh, there's someone I started watching recently, uh, Tomoe Carmine. Yeah, she, um... She's very good. I- I listened to her... Short cover of Aishite. Aishite, 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 Mata Mata. You know that one. Um, it's very good. It's very good. Um, then I went to watch her debut, and she debuted like only a month ago. So hmm. cool. She's cool. She's cool. Um, production Kawaii as a new generation. I don't. I don't really watch production Kawaii. Um, I don't really watch production Kawaii. Uh. I mean, what's the point of being a fans, fan of a company? Just be fans of VTubers, and if they happen to be from a company, they will probably have more budget than an indie. Hmm. That's about it. Hmm. I'm doing this shit. I'm doing this shit on a sue string budget because I'm an indie. <laughs> Tango, sponsor me so I can buy more Tango <laughs> with the sponsorship money. Oh, man. Anyway. Miss Iborazaki leans back a little on her seats and rises her an eyebrow. Uh, companies suck VTubers rule. I mean, yeah. There's a lot of companies that they show up, they're terrible, they disappear. Everyone's an indie now. Mm. But some of them are just like, they run well, but they just don't have enough budget to justify having a whole agency. Uh, I think that's how Real Corp shut down. I think that's how Real Corp shut down. They just they just ran out of money. Mm. But, um, 
Yeah, they're becoming indies. They're becoming indies. Um, Ezra found their way into a new group, so, you know, they're doing good for themselves. Um, yeah, they're doing good for themselves. Mm. And who else was from Real Corp? Uh, a lot of them graduated. A lot of the Real Corp people graduated. Mm. But, um, yeah, sometimes a company just runs out of money. Mm. Sad, but it's like Prison Project. They stopped getting funded by Sony, but they're all going to become indies, so, you know. They still, they're still going to be around. Cool, cool. Mm. So, now how long? So how long are you and Rin been dating? My response consists of silence. My brain suddenly lurches into get- You mean the- You mean- No, his response was- Where's the sound effect? This was the- This was his response. This is his sour's brain right now. This is your brain. This is your brain on VTubers. <laughs> Why do I pronounce it the American way? VTuber. It's not even like- VTuber. VTuber. Uh, hmm. Right. I'm British. Why do I say tuba? It's because fucking too much YouTube is American. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh no. And then I learned how to. And then I learned to end up saying tube, trash can, fucking band aid. Ugh. Get this shit out of my mouth. I'm gonna wash my mouth out with British liquid. Ah, mango tango, my beloved. Mm. All right. Oh yeah, my sound effect. Um, my response consists of silence as my brain suddenly lurches into gear. But just before I can begin to utter a hastily babbled explanation, Emmy's mother burst into laughter again. <laughs> You're a blaster, aren't you? I don't know if that's meant to be meant to way I keep my dignity in this situation, so I settle for a mumbled response. Uh, maybe. So this must be a new romance then, mustn't it? God, fucking. <laughs> Oh god, oh god, allosexuals, oh my god. Oh my god, a boy talk to a girl, you must be dating. Uh, this is a conversation I'm too ace for. Get on with it, get on. I'm playing, it's like, I'm playing a dating, this is technically a dating sim. This is like that one part from, uh, what's that one anime? The cosplay one. The one about... The one anime- My Dress Up Darling. Right, yeah, that. I watched that. <laughs> my Dress Up Darling. I'm like the- I'm like the main character of My Dress Up Darling, just like... <laughs> he's just playing like a vi he's just playing like a romance visual novel. <laughs> he's just playing a romance visual novel to be like, hmm. Right, okay, so. So this is what- This is what that character cosplay looks like, okay. And the game is the most- <laughs> And the visual novel he's playing is like the most horny shit in the world, and he's like... Taking notes. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, no. Wait, that's not the question that... <laughs> I know, but it's funny to watch you squirm. I'm sorry. Forgive an old woman with her amusements. Old woman? I'm sure she doesn't look that old to me. Clearly, Emmy gets her youthful features from her mother. Uh, I suppose I can let her go. Like Elsa from Frozen, haha. <laughs> How can you? It's- it's starting. It's starting. <laughs> she's not a valley girl, she's- she's like a Texan toad. Mm. I direct my attention to the track, uh, where they're repairing for the first sprint. Emmy's gonna win. She has less weight on her, cause she- she's- cause she doesn't have legs. Mm. It looks like the 400 meter dash. My eyes can scan the runners before finding Emmy. She's smiling, with an almost cocky look on her face. Yeah, she's gonna- win the- she's gonna win the entire fucking Paralympics. Hmm. The starter raises his pistol. That's not a pistol. That's a revolver, he saw. You're a fucking idiot. That's a revolver. Is that a- That's the ambassador from TF2. <laughs> uh, that's not a Smith & Wesson, is it? I'm trying to figure out what gun this is. I don't- It's not a real gun. They wouldn't use a real gun. They're not legal in Japan. <laughs> oh. Emmy explodes off the block, disappearing from the starting line in a blur. It's amazing. Even as the other sprinters converge onto the lanes closest to the inside line, Emmy surges to the front of the pack. By the time she by the time she rounds the final turn, some of the other runners, some of the other runners have caught up with her. 
Their efforts come to naught, though, since a final burst of speed from Emmy leaves them at half... at least half a second behind. Chris, remember to read before you... say the words. Uh. <laughs> mm. Miss e Mrs. Iberazaki whoops and shouts, applauding wildly, and generally looking like any other parent cheering on their child. Yeah, she's not gonna be like, Let's go! You don't have legs, but you're so fast! <laughs> Only you're thinking about that, Hisao. And now I'm thinking about it because you're the main character. Hmm. And he bounds off the track, looking pleased with herself. I cheer right along with the rest of them. Yeah, let's go! Shoutouts to when I went to one of my sister cheerleading competitions, and my mum thought I was cheering. Meanwhile, I was just sort of like... Taking the piss? <laughs> I was like, yeah, you did good. Everyone's like, we are power to give, sir. we are power. And I'm just like, yeah, you did good. Does this place have Wi-Fi? Does this, does this place have Wi-Fi? I'm trying to get on Reddit. Does this place? <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> I cheer right along with the rest of them. The announcer, shown, sounding suspiciously like Misha, gleefully gives the results. Just say it was Misha, you fucking idiot. Just say it was Misha. I think she's gotten faster since last time. That was incredible. Mrs. Iberazaki grins proudly. Emmy's one heck of a runner. We fall silent as the next event is being prepared. I'm surprised to see Emmy standing out on the track again. Wait, didn't she just run? Emmy's mother nods. Yes, but she runs multiple events for the team, especially the sprints. It's a lot of running, but Emmy can handle it. From the looks of things, she's right. Emmy doesn't appear to be tired. As if she hadn't run the previous event at all. I mean... I'm trying to do this but for singing, uh, where I don't run out of stamina fucking immediately. Um, but that doesn't involve being quieter, because I'm quieter, I sound worse. Um, yeah, just be annoying. <laughs> How to get better at um, talking. Don't be, don't be afraid to be annoying, <laughs> because I, I know I'm probably, if I heard me, if, 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 if I had a clone, if, if I was a clone of myself and I heard myself talk, I'd probably be annoyed, but I don't, I, I don't care. You guys like me talking. <laughs> uh, the gemlings don't find me annoying, I just find myself annoying. <laughs> uh. Right. Mm. If not for the sweat visible on her shirt, you'd never know. Which event is this? It's the 200 meter dash. She'll do this one, the 100 meter, and the relay. Part of me feel like something bad's gonna happen. Like she's gonna use too many of her legs and just like... Like she's gonna use her legs too hard and then they're gonna start bleeding and then the nurse is gonna be like, Ah, oh, fuck, what did, what'd you do that for? Dumbass, what'd you do that for? <laughs> uh. I see. Oh god, who are you? Fucking shit, you eat tempest? Mm. Once again, the pistol sounds, and once again, Emmy flies off the block. A thumping sound draws my attention away from the race. It's Rin's foot. She seems completely absorbed in the race. Emmy's mother cheers again, and I assume the race is over. Patch, 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 patch. Mm. It means clap, clap, clap in Japanese. <laughs> Sprints don't seem to me like they take very long to complete. Your foot. You'd race with Kenyans. <laughs> You'd race with Kenyans and then die and then get deported to Kenya. <laughs> oh, no. Your foot was bouncing on the bleachers. Oh. You seem pretty into this stuff. I'm surprised. Rin looks at me quizzically. Why wouldn't I be? No reason. I just thought stuff like sports wouldn't interest- What, you mean because she's an artist? You sound you're a fucking idiot. You fucking- You sound you're, you're dumb as hell. No, it's it's not about the, the the specific activity. It's about oh my god, she loves what she does. That's it. Like an idol, but for running. <laughs> mm, I suppose you're right. It's not that interesting. But I'm watching Emmy, not the sp. Exactly. She's a Tensai techie, no idol, Summer. She's a Tensai. <laughs> I don't follow. Emmy's the most Emmy when she runs. You don't get to see Emmy in her Emmy as very often. But here you can, see? She directs my attention towards the track again, where the 100 meter dash is about to start. 
You do- you watch her again as she gets onto her starter blocks. Her whole body seems to relax, but it's a false relaxation. I can see that she's actually like a coiled spring- oh god, I was listening to Eurobeat last night, and <laughs> they have these like an- like, you know, like, you know what a mad is, it's like where they take scenes from the anime and like mash them together as a music video. Um, AMV, that's what it was, AMV, anime music video, um, and <laughs> like Initial D, from what I can see, has the most ridiculous animation, like, it's it's like got some guy like oh my god I'm gonna I've got a stressed out about my car and then the other guy's just looking straight forward like and the books and the dream and every nightmare and every dream. <laughs> and then it zooms into the fucking pistons in the car it's like this is the nights of fire you are the nights of fire you are the I like Eurobeat, even though it's trash. <laughs> I can see that she's actually like a coiled spring. At the okay, for some reason I had a paranoid moment. I thought I saw my other sound moving, and I don't have VLC open. <laughs> I don't have VLC open. I think I was just looking at my... Oh, I think I was just looking at my microphone, wasn't it? OBS Mixer, please don't make my brain do that. Are you the British Jack Black? No, if I was the British Jack Black, I'd be like... And the peculiar thing is this, my friends, the song we sang on that fateful night didn't actually sound anything like this song. <gasps> this is just a tribute. You gotta believe it. I'm gonna get copyright claimed because I'm singing Initial D. Not Initial D. Tenacious D. There's too many things with D in it. The audio stream is fucking up. What do you mean, YouTube? Oh, the bitrate's low. That was probably when I just... Stopped talking for two seconds, YouTube. Let me... Can I... What do you do? What do you mean? What do you mean? Or is it because the background music's not on? What the fuck? It's not even... What the... YouTube, it's not even... Oh my god. YouTube, please. It's not even... There's nothing wrong with the audio. You liar. Mm. Maybe I got too close to the microphone. Maybe I got... <laughs> Maybe when I sang, it peaked. Mm, probably. As the starter tells everyone to get set, her head snaps up, and her- her head should not snap. Head not- well, it's a head, not a neck. If her neck snapped, it wouldn't be good, um. But yeah, yeah. No, um, I'm not the British Jack Black, I- I do like rock, though. Mm. I, I- I- I am a rock, I'm not rock. <laughs> I don't- mm. I like metal more than rock. Mm. It's more intense, and- Rock doesn't have screaming, metal has- THAS! Mm. It's very good. As the starter tells everyone to get set, her head snaps up and her eyes narrow slightly. Her mouth curls upwards in what could be a grin and could be a growl. Oh, she was like, grr. <laughs> she went, grr, I'm gonna run fast. Hmm. When the pistol goes off, it's as if she's been unleashed from a cage. Like she was always moving at this blinding speed, but we couldn't see it happening until the starter's pistol dispelled the illusion of motionlessness. I hear it. It's like when you're playing TF2, you're like, I hear a spy, turns around, <laughs> I have a rocket launcher. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. Feels like I just witnessed something very personal for Emmy. As soon as she crossed the finish line, the fierce look was replaced by her normal grin. <laughs> the conquering general returning to his farm. Amazing. Sugoida. She's really amazing. I've never seen anyone move that fast. Mm. Well, don't look at me. I'm far too relaxed to run like that. She on weed? Mm. Where do you get your weed, Mako? <laughs> Nah, I think Emmy's prowess all came from her father's side. At the mention of Emmy's father, Miss Ibarazaki looks riskful. Almost set. Yeah, we get it. Her, her dad's dead. Mm. He got her in a running, you know. Yeah, she told me. I'm uncertain as to whether or not it would be rude of me to ask him after Emmy's father. But after that look on her face a few de days ago, I feel compelled to ask. Then just ask her, you socially awkward weirdo. Where is her father now, if I might ask? 
Peace out. Do you not know how to pick up on hints? He's dead. Mm. And from what I can tell, he died a long time ago. Oh my god, lack of empathy. God damn. Hmm. Emmy's mother hesitates, clearly not willing to answer the question, but at the same time, not wishing to appear rude. He, uh, he isn't around anymore. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring up bad memories. He, Sal, you have zero... You have no tact. God damn. That's what... There was a character in this game. There was a character in this visual novel that was saying something about being tactful earlier. Was it? No, it wasn't Rin. I think it was Lily. I think it was Lily. Or it was like about Lily. It's like, oh, you gotta have more tactfulness. Like, I see. D bitch, she's blind. <laughs> what do you mean you see? She can't. <laughs> oh no. Mm. Amy just seemed a little sad when she mentioned him earlier. That's not surprising, considering. Hmm. They're very close. I see. A beeping noise suddenly emanates from Miss Ibarazaki's pocket. Reaching into it, she pulls out a cell phone and looks at it. Honestly, text messages? You can get a text at any time. What the fuck do you mean? What is he, 16? Hmm? Oh, none. I gotta go meet up with a friend of mine. We can tell Amy I'm very proud of her. Mm -hmm. And then I'll call her later tonight. Of course. She is getting a new husband. Mm. I'll admit that I zone out for a while. I almost don't notice the relay is about to begin. You know, when I read the word relay, I thought, VTuber karaoke relay. <laughs> and not... <laughs> I, I watched that Valentine's one. There were some good singers in that. Even though the songs were kind of... Eh. But some of them were pretty good, like, uh, Rock and Rodin, she did, she did some good ones. She did, like, Queen and stuff. Very nice. Um, anyway, this isn't about VTubers, this is about disabled women. Um, right. Aren't, what's the difference, am I right? Uh, but when I look, uh, I can't find Emmy. I thought that Emmy would be running the relay. She runs Anchor. So she won't be running for a while yet. No. Oh. Did you see it? Hmm? Emmy at her Emmyist? Maybe. You did! Uh, well, I did. I, cause... Cause I'm not, cause I'm not a gormless rube like you. Hmm, <laughs> maybe this time. The race begins and I cheer Emmy's teammates along the pass... Along as they pass the baton. Finally, I see Emmy sprinting onto the track to take the final handle. Once again, I'm taking, taken aback by how graceful she looks when she runs. It really is beautiful. The look of determination and fearlessness on her face on the ads to the picture. Emmy at her Emmyist, I suppose. Oh, right, he knew. It's just the writer, whoever wrote this, wanted to be more verbose about it. Okay, I think that, that makes more sense. Hmm. But then, as she crosses the finish line, I see her stumble slight. Oh god, she's dead. It's only barely, but it's a definite stumble. Okay, so she's not dead. <laughs> Rin inhales sharply, and actually looks concerned for a second. Ah, oh, Emmy. Did she hurt herself, you think? You noticed it too? It must be bad. She frowns, as if deciding on the next course of action. What is she deciding on? Hmm. Eventually, that proves to be too tiresome. And she shrugs again. Well, let's go down. Gotta crown the victor. See if you can find a laurel branch. That's not gonna be easy. Rin shrugs. At least we tried. Well, we didn't really trial that hard. Or at all, but hey, whatever. <laughs> this is why I'm like, on stream, I'm like, we, wait, no, we didn't do anything. I did that. <laughs> oh, no. Emmy is surrounded by her teammates. All of them congratulating her on the run. Rin seems to be waiting for Emmy to notice that she's arrived. Oh, yeah. I guess she can't exactly wave Emmy over. She can... Let me show you how you wave people over. With your head. You just... I know a guy who's paralyzed from the neck down. That's how he waves at people. He just... Wah. Wah. He uses his head. He, he doesn't have... What is it? He doesn't have uh, hand... Handshakes? He, he just... He takes headbutts instead of fist bumps. You know. There's ways of getting around it. Hmm. Um... But then again, I'm not sure Rin would do such a thing even if she had arms. Yeah, that's why she's not waving. If she wanted to wave, she will. Just with a different part of her body. Hmm. 
that was my point. Hmm. It doesn't seem her style to draw attention to herself. Or emo, it'd be on shrugging. <laughs> oh, my, me off stream. I'm just like, meh. Eh. I mean, yeah. I gotta... <laughs> when I'm done with streaming, I have to recharge my batteries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I'm not streaming, my dad's the loud one. When I am streaming, I'm the loud one. At least now I'm the loud one, now that I've actually been able to sleep properly. <laughs> Who would have known the secret was just... Pajamas. <laughs> Either way, I'm not willing to wait. So I wave to Emmy, who looks up and grins happily at me. Uh, I was, actually, that's made me think. If I got a second outfit... Um... If I got a second outfit for my model, for myself, my model, my body, oh my god. If I got myself a second outfit, <clears throat> it could either, I, I think it's going to be something like, comfy. I'm thinking either, like, casual, like a hoodie, something you wear around the house, or like, like a military uniform. I feel, I think, I feel like that would be cool. I feel like that'd be cool. I know too much gun law. Why do I know so much gun law? I... I know what a 1911 is. <laughs> That's a weapon. Uh. It's, <laughs> it's a weapon. Uh, so, I mean, a car is basically a bullet, just like... Thicker. <laughs> That's the part of Breaking Bad I watched. The bit where... Spoilers for a show that came out... Like 20 years ago. Uh, <laughs> when did Breaking Bad come out? A long time ago. It's on Netflix, so it's timeless. Um, yeah, the bit where uh, Jesse's about to get shot by those two guys, and then Walter just fucking runs them over. <laughs> I think that was during the writer's strike. They're like, wouldn't it be funny if Walter hit some of a car? <laughs> oh, man. Car equals giant bullet. I know, I know. TF2 modders, get on that. Put that in classic open fortress. Whatever the fuck it's called, I don't know. Whatever doesn't have bots in it. <laughs> oh god, that's why I haven't streamed TF2 in like two months. Cause of uh, bots and. Yuichi invited you to play 100% Orange. I'm. Uh, I'm. Uh, brother, I am streaming right now. I. <laughs> what? <laughs> he... it, this is what happens when I don't make a schedule tweet. This is what happens when I don't make a scheduled tweet. My best friend. Yeah, it's not ex it's not an exaggeration to say Yuichi's my best friend. My bestie, Yuichi. He's <laughs> asking if I want to play Orange Juice. Um, maybe some other day. I'm, I'm I'm reading a visual. I'm reading a book right now. <laughs> Technically, I'm reading a book. This is just the wee book. This is just like the otaku equivalent of a book, a visual novel. Fate was originally. A visual novel. Now it's a multimedia conglomerate and a fighting game for some reason. Mm. Yeah, I just noticed. Okay. <laughs> Glad you did. I can't do two things at the same time. Hmm. Right. Anyway. Back to, uh... God damn it, why do you want me to... Oh god, the- I can't believe it. Mm. Well, my friends don't know that. I'm live- I mean, he uses less Discord and Twitter now. I mean, it's- it's easier to get a, get away from the toxic side of Discord, just- just leave the damn server. Hmm. But it's harder to get out of the toxic side of Twitter, unless you stop using the For You page. Stu stop using the fucking For You page on Twitter, it's the worst place on the internet. I use the following tab on Twitter when I go to Twitter, because that's all VTubers. It's basically just all VTubers and, like, stuff I actually care about. But you go in the For You tab, it's like, politics, 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 news, politics, 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 you should be angry. I don't like politics because they're obnoxious. <laughs> I just... The, the, the internet's meant to be fun, not annoying. <laughs> Oh, man. New tweet notifications from Doki Bird. Exactly. Hmm. I, I, I want to see a Doki Bird tweet. I don't want to see a BBC News tweet. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. She made that stream, which was like uh, VTubing advice. I was going to watch that, but I 
I'm a VOD watcher primarily for VTubers. I mean, sometimes I'll watch them live if they're live when I'm busy with something. Like, I watched, Tom I watched Tomoe. Tomoe was doing something. She was doing, like, an art stream or whatever while I was making my thumbnails, so that was something cool to listen to. Um, but I mainly watch VODs. I mainly watch VODs of people. Uh... So I was gonna watch Doki Bird's, uh, what was it, like... VTuber advice stream VOD? It's like four hours long, I don't have time for that. Um... Hmm. But, um, I wanna watch that. I know Rin Penrose did that. I know Rin Penrose did a stream like that, because... Because Rin Penrose is my Oshi. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I know every stream she's done. Does that is that sound does that make me sound like a stalker? I don't think I know her, so you know, at least I'm not that parasocial. Hmm. <laughs> right, but I know what streams a VTuber did. That doesn't make me parasocial, that just makes me have a functioning brain. <laughs> oh no. Who looks up happily at uh, me us? Uh, mm. I I like I'm very interested in what advice, like, other VTubers have for... for other people. I'm- I'm in- I'm in- I'm Chris, talk. Use your words. Use your brain before you use your mouth. Okay, um... Anyway, what was I saying? I like hearing insight from other VTubers. Other successful VTubers. No offense, but if you, um... If you've not been doing it for a while, or, if you don't seem like you know what you're doing, I'm not gonna try and take your advice. Like, there's so many YouTube guru channels. They're like, here's how to get a million subscribers. They don't have a million subscribers. They don't have anywhere close to a million subscribers. They're basically just people who are like... Obsessed with Mr. Beast and then try to copy him. They're like, what did he do? That must be the secret to getting YouTube views. You shouldn't be concerned about the secret to YouTube views. Just make better... Just enjoy the damn thing, and then make more. Hmm. They're fake gurus. Exactly, exactly. I'm not gonna say who, because that's toxic. <laughs> hmm. But, um, yeah. Something that just made me think about that was, like, a, a, a couple days ago, my dad was like, you know, the summer's coming up, so, like, wouldn't you want to stream less? Um, I, I know he probably... Basically, what he said was, wouldn't you want to work less? And uh, that was strange to me, because this doesn't feel like work. This feels... Like, streaming doesn't feel like work to me. Well, when I'm not tired. <laughs> mm, I, I'm the one who made the mistake of doing, like, six streams a week when I had a fucking sleep deficit. Uh. <laughs> but now I don't, so my streams are going to be better moving forwards because I'm not tired anymore. <laughs> I'm unstoppable. I've, I've finally figured out how to stop being EP. All my secrets will be revealed eventually. But yeah, um... Yeah, so... You know. You know. Mm. He probably... He probably thought that I was finding it more stressful because I was tired. Yeah, I was. And then I got over the being tired. That... I don't know. I don't know what's going on inside his brain. Probably five things at the same time. He has ADHD. Probably five things. Hmm. You remember that YouTube short I made in the ancient Twitch days? Hmm. He'll... He'll go into the kitchen, forget what he's doing. And then... Somehow end up putting the car keys in the fridge. Hmm. And then when he has to go get... Then he actually has to use the car. Where are the damn keys? Where did I put them? I don't know. Wherever your... Brain worms led you. Hmm. Right, uh... What was Rin saying here? Uh Either way, I'm not Uh oh right, yeah, Rin sorta of just shrugging. Um Either way I'm not willing to wait, so I wave to Emmy, who looks up and grins happily at me uh us. Hey, you showed up. Perfect place for the car keys in the fridge. I mean it's a funny place to put them, so you're probably gonna remember where they are. Hmm. Uh sometimes I'm tempted to you know on my floor, because it's a carpet floor, I have to have, like, a plank of wood for my computer to go on, so it doesn't, um... I'm pretty sure like, it's something to do with static. You're not supposed to put a PC... You're not supposed to put a computer on the... on carpet. I think it's something to do with static electricity. Or, like, heat dissipation. It's both of the things. Both static and heat. You don't want that... You don't want static or heat near computers. 
my radiator's next to my PC. Uh, it's fine, it's not turned on. <laughs> mm. Um, yeah, I have a plank of wood, and I'm tempted to put my phone on the floor. Because <laughs> on that plank of wood on the floor, to be like, <clears throat> Actually, if I put it on my computer, it'd probably be even louder. Yeah, it'd be, it'd just be like, <clears throat> And then I'm like, oh, what the hell is that? That sounds metal banging against other metal. Oh, yeah, that's my phone. Let me, ah, oh, shit, let me grab that. <laughs> I don't know, I think wood, wood is loud enough. Wood's a loud enough material. Mm. Anyway, I guess Ren owes me, I guess Ren owes me money, huh? We would have brought you a crown of laurels, but his sound didn't find one. Hey, neither did you. It wasn't my job to look. When did we assign jobs? When I said, see if you can find me a laurel branch. I'm trying to keep up. My shrug. I guess Ren's rubbing off on me. <laughs> Seems my fault after all, Emmy. Emmy laughs at Ren Envy. It's okay. I'm sure you'll make it up to me somehow. Uh, sure. Good. So how'd I look? Sugoina. Sugoi desu. Hmm. Sugoina desu. I stop myself from blurting out beautiful or amazing and settle for the substantially safer Sugoi desu. <laughs> Emmy seems uh, pleased with this assessment. He didn't say Sugoi desu, but they would have wrote this if they didn't have a... If this was written by one person, not a team of people... They would definitely put- they would definitely write Sugoides in there. <laughs> I don't mention how much more impressive her performance is given her lack of legs. I know she knows that already. He so is finally learning tactfulness, let's go. Besides, it seems like it would take away from her efforts somehow. Great to hear. I was worried that I looked a little slow in the relay, but I guess I did fine, huh? Actually, I notice Rin kicks me and keeps from finishing my sentence. That's why she's best girl. That's why Rin's best girl. She doesn't... Skeleton divine death beam attack. <laughs> uh, that's She does that just to stop you from... Killing yourself. God, mm, you're gonna kill yourself socially. Don't do that. Yeah, what was all that about? He noticed it at the end. Mm, that's no good. That's no good. Guess the nurse will look for him later. There's a carelessness in her voice. As if it isn't a big deal. I suddenly notice a slight twitch on her face. Like she's trying to hide the fact that she's in pain. No, you gotta show people when you're in pain. Asshole. That's no good. Hello, Sparky. Not, doesn't have a middle name, Summers. Sparky T. Summers. The T is for task, man, because you, you play a lot of RuneScape. Um, how's my little graphic design, uh... I was gonna say victim. I don't think that's... The right word. <laughs> recipient. Right, that's a better one. That's a better one. How's my little graphic design recipient doing? Um, fellow Ruby Light Carbuncle. How are you doing? Mm. I feel very good today. You went swimming, didn't you? Yeah, you did go swimming. Um, the most exercise I do is going up the stair. That's what exercise is to me. I have muscular dystrophy. <laughs> so that's what exercise is to me. Uh, yes! I read that as Captain Falcon. Mm. Very tired. Good. That means you'll actually sleep at a reasonable hour tonight. Mm. That's another part of the... When we discussed this in VC, didn't we? Like, how do we sleep better? Because I was... We were spitballing ideas so I could write that short. I still haven't done it. I've done bullet points. I've not written the actual script yet. <laughs> it's fine, Chris. You did... You, you did vocal practice today. Hmm. Hmm. I have muscular lol mitochondria don't have don't work have fun being in pain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's essentially what it is. Zotiko uh, looked that up, and then he and then he was like, "Oh, that's so sad." Meanwhile, I'm I was like, "What's sad about it? I I don't feel any different to normal dudes. I have a cool ass walking stick. What do you mean? I have a cool ass walking stick." <laughs> Oh man, we're fu I'm fucked up in all the right ways. Anyway, then it's then I notice her breathing is a little shallow too. Uh, I think we're gonna watch a teenage girl have an adrenal. No, wait, no, that's not what she's about to do. We're about to have a watch a teenage girl in a lot of pain. Great. I guess she really is hurt. She must not notice my concern because she skips to me and gives me a friendly pat on the shoulder. Hey, you look a little worried. 
I'm fine, really. Just sore from all the running is all. And come on, a little pain isn't gonna stop me. It's, it's, it, it, your, but it's, but it's your implant, it's, it's your leg implants. It's your, what are they called? The, the fake legs. It's your fake legs that, that digging into your bones. Don't, no, 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 no. Emmy grins and for a moment she looks like she did fierce and unconquerable. Something bad's gonna happen, isn't it? Or to put it to go another way, really beautiful. Hasn't yet. Well then, I guess I shouldn't worry, huh? Yeah, in, in an earlier chapter, uh, there was a bit where the nurse was like, We don't... If your uh, implants start bleeding, that's not good because they can um, get infected. You don't want your skin uh, where your legs would be to be infected if you are missing them. Yeah, I'm learning so much about medical stuff in, by playing the... I mean, it's called Disability Girls, of course I'm learning about that. <laughs> right. Mm. Damn right. I'm er Emmy er Iperazaki. Fastest thing on no legs. I don't stop. <laughs> Fastest thing on no legs? Fastest thing on no legs. <laughs> oh my god. That's so good. That's so good. That's like something I- that's like a joke I'd come up with. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, it's the sort of thing where um, you, 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 you want to feel bad for laughing at that, but it's, it's funny, so who cares? <laughs> it's funny. I don't stop for anything. Impressive. Emmy giggles and then seems to remember something. Oh, before I forget. Rin and I are going to do something next Sunday as a post-track meet, ce post meet celebration. You should come along. Normally we do it the day after, but since the track meet was on a Sunday, I've got homework and class and all that stuff to take care of. Uh, plus our morning run, of course. Right, of course. Oh right, your mom wanted to say she's proud of you. Tommy Tallarico? His mother is very proud? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. She'll call you later tonight. I thought I saw her in the stands. I'm, gl I'm glad she made it. It used to be my dad who showed out to my meets, but Mom's done a pretty good job of taking over. She's gonna cry now. She mentioned her dad. Oh, yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She shivers slightly, and I realize that she's still all sweaty. A breeze has started to blow, too. A breeze always blows in this country. It's fucking freezing. That's why I was bad at sleeping, because I was too cold, and I didn't think, huh, maybe I should just... Wear clothes. Hmm. I don't own pajamas. I sleep in my clothes. I don't own pajamas. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I got my jacket with me, so without a word, I throw it around her shoulders. Emmy jumps slightly and then grins at me. Hey, hey, thanks. I'm. It's getting a little cold, I guess. Yeah, I look like it. Just as I begin to wonder whether or not giving Emmy my jacket could be taken the wrong way. A boy in a track uniform approaches. Oh god, it's Chad Thundercock. That's just her name. Hey, Emmy, you're gonna miss the medal ceremony. Oh, yeah, thanks. She turns to Rin and myself. You don't have to stick around for this part. It takes forever. Besides, you should get cracking on your homework now if you don't want to be up late, Isal. Morning on the run tomorrow. Don't forget. How could I? You'll fucking scream at me if I don't. You'll fucking scream at me if I don't. <laughs> Good point. I mean, it's spending time with me after all. Yeah. It's totally not because he's so scared of women. Hmm. It's the trauma. When he, last time he spoke to a woman romantically, he had a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> with this, she waves quickly and dashes off to receive her medals. Or whatever they pass off as a medal these days. It's the boomers. It's the boomers. They came up with participation trophies. Ah. Mm. My stepdad's a boomer, yet he complains about people getting participation trophies. Your generation invented those. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, my dad's not. He's more of a... I thought my dad's like a late... My dad... I mean, he described himself as a late millennial. I think. Yeah, he's a late millennial, yeah. Um, and I'm Gen Z. Gen Z. I'm British. Mm. I w I'm still gonna say Zed. Mm. Pokemon Legends Zed. <laughs> Z-A-Lam- no, Z-Lamna, yeah. 
It's gonna be great. I've not finished Legends Arceus. <laughs> hmm, right. We've got... I'm gonna play Legends Arceus next week. I, I've i decided to be very punctual in my streams. And by punctual, I mean... Maybe come up with the streams... Not on the fucking start of the week. The Monday at the start of the week. Hmm. Hmm. Um, Rin and I head away from the track, Rin remaining deep in whatever thoughts she has for most of the walk back to her dorm. As I see her off, she speaks up. You're probably not getting that coat back, I think. I'm sure I'll get it back eventually. Interesting. Take it as it comes, huh? Very Emmy-ish. With this odd statement, she turns and heads into the building. That's me, Chris Tellis, not me, Hisao Nakai. Hmm. Honestly, was that big a deal? Emmy was cold and, unless I'm mistaken, in pain. I mean, I just don't take my jacket off, because... It's too comfy. I, it, I like jackets, they're very comfy. And hoodies, I, I like them both. I like... If, if, if I don't have, if I don't have, like... If I don't have, like... I like long sleeves, that's what I'm trying to say. Long, if I don't have long sleeves on clothes, I'm like... I have to, my body's just like, I'm gonna be cold, aren't I? Mm. This might be the British thing of me talking. I just think long sleeves are comfier than shorter sleeves. Mm. Very good, very good. I, I specifically... Well, no, I didn't have to specifically ask because... It's more of a coat, I guess, but... Mm. I have more of a coat, but, you know, I like... I like him. I like him. Hmm. Hmm. Emmy was cold, and unless I'm mistaken, in pain. Yeah, when I had my model made, I specifically asked Via for a, like a blazer jacket coat type thing uh because i because i like them i think they're comfy and i said when i stream i want to look like this yes mm. <laughs> mm. i guess vtuber models are kind of like like a you know like how idols have uniforms i guess like a vtuber's model is kind of like a uniform and their body uh, no because you can change your outfit can't you yeah you can the VTuber outfits are very expensive. Um, we like to shop at the most expensive retailers because we gotta, we gotta look good. We gotta look good on stream, so we... Like, my shampoo probably costs more than your car. Your car's oil. Mm. I don't even know... No, it's not shampoo. It's... I use people shampoo. People a lot... People would think, you're a carbuncle and your hair's, like, all sparkly and shit. That you must be using, like, gem polish or something. Uh, I'm not using gem polish. I'm using... Shampoo. And conditioner. And... Mm, you gotta you gotta have conditioner in your hair if you want it to be all shiny like mine. Mm. It's... What's the sham... What's the conditioner I use? It's like... It smells like... The scent is meant to be, like, raspberry or something. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You might be like, That's girl shampoo. What do you... That's girl's... Conditioner, what do you mean? Okay, well... I think, I think, uh, girls' hair products are better than men's hair products because they smell better. Mm. Honestly. <laughs> like, girls get to smell like things, like raspberry and... Bubblegum. But, uh, guys get to smell like real- but guys get to smell like, um, shitty things, like... Let me look at this. Uh, iced mint and lemon scent. What is- Sorry, okay, that's an actual scent. Okay, well, still. Sawdust and motor oil. <laughs> that's the average male fragrance. Oh, no. What else? Like, I saw one that was hemp. I saw a men's fragrance that had hemp in it. What do you mean? <laughs> it doesn't make you smell like weed, but, um, it doesn't make you smell like weed. <laughs> I'm just getting that out there. It was like tea tree and hemp. That's what it was. Mm. Hemp and tea tree. It doesn't actually smell like anything. Surprisingly, it doesn't actually smell like weed. Just doesn't even smell like mint either. Maybe it's because I get um like wash sets from for Christmas and then, you know, I wait for I just leave them for ages because we already have stuff to shower with, and then I take ages to go through it. So by the time I get to it, the scent's worn off. That's probably it. Yeah. Mm. What I'm saying is I smell good. <laughs> Where did when did the conversation get to hygiene? I don't know, but take showers. If you don't take showers, take baths. It gives you time for your brain to reset without sleeping. Yeah, because like sleeping is when your brain like you know it's when your brain 
puts all your thoughts together and lets you be better. Um, you know, lets you think, lets your brain work. Showers are like just like a moment of calm and peace where you can, you know, you don't have to think about anything. You can sing in the shower, you can... Usually, if you don't, if you don't, if you're not singing in the shower, um, I have, I had, what's the one song called? The one about Hikikomori. Uh, Hikikomori zetai das desu na no na 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 na. Goodbye singing. That's what it was. Goodbye singing. <laughs> there was a VTuber who uh, covered that as her graduation song. <laughs> oh yeah, she made it. She dropped a cover and then just said, "I'm graduating," <laughs> at the end of the song, and I'm like, that makes sense actually. Because the song's called Goodbye Declaration. If I did a cover of that, it wouldn't be when I'm graduating, because... We're not gonna graduate a hundred episodes. A hundred years. Chris Tallis channel. Not ending. Going on forever. Yeah, with This channel will be over when I'm old and grey and dead. I'm already grey, but I'm not old. <laughs> mm. Okay, well. And I'm only dead on the inside. Ha ha ha. Ha. Ha ha. Ha. Ha, I want to do more covers. I know I failed my, uh... <laughs> what was it? I failed my... Goal of make one every month. But, um... Now my goal is, I'm more nebulous. Get better at singing, make better covers. Hmm. So, yeah. The idol cover is coming. The idol cover's coming. You just gotta wait. You just gotta wait. I... It's so the guy I'm commissioning, um... I think he's made... He's made stuff for Red Penrose, um... And... A couple of the ex Akioet people. Um, that's not a company anymore, <laughs> thank god. Uh, but... Yeah, he's, uh, he's done some good stuff for that. I'm thinking... If you don't know who, who it is, I'm just gonna say, Zephy Sonas. I'm thinking of pre-commissioning Zephy Sonas for this. Um, you might have seen me interact with a couple of his things on Twitter. Um, yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Um... Brain, work. Please. Get to the next bit of... I'm, I'm thinking, and then my God, I trailed off in the middle of a com in the middle of a sentence. It'll get back to me eventually. Zephy, Zephy, Sonas making a cover. Oh right, yes, I was gonna. Um, he has a lot of advice on his um page, his commission page, uh, which is like here's some tips of how to record. Uh, one of the tips was garbage in, garbage out. If you sing like crap, there's no way we're going to be able to make you sound good in the mix. Hmm. In the mix. Um, yeah. And one of them was like, do you have any references? What? Yeah, it was like, what What covers of this have you been... What covers of the song have you been listening to? Like, as a reference. And it's like... I guess I've been listening to the Hollow Stars one. The Hollow Stars cover of Idol. Um, see, the thing is, I'm... A guy. So... <laughs> I don't really hit the same notes as, as a female singer. I'd be like, um... Yeah, when I was um, practicing Godish earlier, I, um... I listened to the instrumental that was, like, down by... It, the key was, like, minus... It was, like, key minus two. The key was down by, like, two octaves. Because uh, that's more around where I sing. Yeah, I've... My main mistake with songs was I was trying to... I try to hit notes... High? When, like, say it's a girl singing. I try to hit the same notes that a girl would hit. When that's not what my voice does. That's... My voice is lower pitched. So, <laughs> it's it's moronic to... Try and sing it like... To try and sing Stella Stella like how Suisse does it. Mm, for example. Mm. You know, that's more my... She goes way up there, and I can't do that, but... Hmm. Uh, that's probably why I like Otto so much, because Otto has, like, a pretty lower-pitched, um... Otto has, like, a lower-pitched natural voice than a lot of uh, Japanese girls. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. From what I can tell, from what I can tell of most of the Japanese girls I've seen of VTubers... They could be exaggerating. They could be exaggerating how high their pitch is. I don't know. I don't know. You, it's hard to tell which VTubers are voice acting, which VTubers are, uh, you know, doing their natural voice. Unless they tell you. Unless they're like Nebby Nebu from Pixel Inc, who, um, after she debuted, she made a video that was like, 
actually, this isn't my real voice. And then her real voice sounded cute anyway, so I don't know why. I mean, her justification was, it sounds cute, so I want to do it. <laughs> I mean, anyone can have a justification for doing a little voice acting as a VTuber. Like, I sound a lot more... Honestly, in the streams where I was... In, during my sleep deprivation arc... I'm gonna call it that. During my sleep deprivation arc, um... That was when I... That's probably more like the volume I talk when I'm... You know, off stream. Uh, so that's probably how more I talk. I usually get a bit less, um... Into it. This is probably more accurate to how I talk in real life. Um... By real life, I mean outside of streams. Uh... <laughs> So yeah, I talk a bit quieter, hmm. but no one wants to hear me talk quiet. But uh, there's my insight into VTuber voice, v VTuber voices. Why do I keep not using the British pronunciation? One time I was, I think this was back during the Super Mario thon. My mom was like, um, "Why do you sound American on stream? What do you mean I sound American? I'm British." I pronounce my T's. It's probably because I said, like, trash. Hmm. And she was like, that's not the Queen's English. Um, okay. <laughs> I, I, say, I said tuba instead of tuba, and she was like, that's not British. <laughs> that's not British. Hmm. Given her a solution, at least. So, yeah. Hmm. Anyway, this game's set in Japan, and I made people, and I made more. I made at least two of them Texans, and this game's technically set in Japan. Um, right. Oh yeah, Emmy was cold and in pain. I have to get back to where I was because I ramble too much when I read it. <laughs> Giving her a solution to at least one of these problems seems like an obvious reaction. Though I guess there is chance I could lose my jacket if Emmy never re remembers to return it. Oh yeah, I looked up... No attention! Uh, okay, this is the last tangent. I looked up, um... How long it takes to finish this because I want to have an estimate, a rough estimate of how long this series would take. Also, I'm trying to do less of, um, you know, I'm trying to do one week Katawa Shoujo next week, uh, Legends Arceus next week Katawa Shoujo. Like, if I have two long series, I don't want to do them one after another because that's just too much effort for my brain to process. As we can tell from the sleep deprivation arc, maybe that was because I was sleep deprived. I don't know, but, um, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow we're playing Wii Sports. Mm. Right, um, where was I? I lost my train of thought. I lose my train of thought a lot. Why do I do that? Why does my brain do that? What sort of mental illness do I have? Yeah, yeah, being... I feel like being that forgetful halfway for a sentence is a mental illness. I don't know what one... I don't know which one, though. Uh, if any... If there are any armchair psychiatrists in the... In the if any of my gemlings are an armchair psychiatrist, tell me what that is. Where I, I talk about something, and then halfway through, my brain says, Actually, uh, what if we just forgot about that? Like, I don't know, I... Like, when most people think mentally ill, they think, Oh, you're a psychopath. You, you, you go into a woods, and you see a wolf, and you're not scared of the wolf. I probably have a bit of psychopathy, but, like, mm. That's just from being on the internet, as long as I have. If, if anyone has been on the internet as long as I have and seen the things I've seen, you'll probably become numb to it at some point. I saw the Facebook shotgun video on Live Leak. Oh no. That's not the sort of thing I should have been exposed to at, like, 17, but eh. <laughs> oh no. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Though I guess there is chance I could lose my jacket if Emery remembers to return it. I'll save my discussion of... I used to go on Gore subreddits for a, uh, I'll save that for a Zatsudan. Yeah, I'll save that for a Zatsudan. I'm still thinking of things to fill next week's streams. Wait, no. I'm playing Minecraft next week. We could talk about it when I play Minecraft. Mm. I like to compartmentalize things in my brain so I, like, remember what to do. It's a very good way of scheduling thoughts. Sorting out your life, basically. <laughs> mm, yeah, I bought a calendar because I tried calendaring on my phone. I just never end up using the calendar app because I forget where it fucking is. So I, instead I bought a calendar that I can physically see and it's like... 
yesterday. Yeah, yesterday it said get gas. Because I had to get gas. Because the... Because otherwise the house was going to be cold. <laughs> yeah, I, I put some stuff. I put some money on the gas. Mm. It's like a pay-as-you-go gas thingy. I don't... No one cares. None of the gemlings give a shit about gas bills. <laughs> oh, no. Mm. But yeah. So I got gas. And I remembered because I writ it. Writ, writ it? Writ it? That writ, that's not a word. Maybe it's an old English word. I wrote it down. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so, sorry, sorry if I'm rambling. Sorry if I'm rambling, gemlings. I, I tend to do that, don't I? Hmm. Okay. Though I guess there is a chance I could lose my jacket if Emmy remembers to return it. I guess Rin has a point. She's probably caught up in her own world of running. Hmm. Still, I can't bring myself to muster much to worry over the whole thing. After all... It's been getting warmer lately. That's what I was thinking. I looked up the uh, how long to beat of Katawa Shoujo. Apparently it's like... Seven hours? Yeah, but... Seven and a half hours. But because I keep fucking rambling... Uh, actually, let me look this up again. Uh, how long is Katawa Shoujo? Seven and a half hours, that's what it said, yeah. It's about seven and a half hours. Uh, but because I keep going on tangents, it's probably gonna be double that. <laughs> That's why, that's why I remembered that. It said, it takes about seven hours to beat the campaign. Campaign. It's a book. <laughs> it's a book. What do you mean, campaign? Oh. After all, it's been getting warmer lately. I don't need a jacket. I do, even though it's summer, because England. Odd. I think I used to be a little more responsible with my stuff. It was, going to Smash tournaments must have been so irresponsible for me. I would bring my Switch to tournaments, like locals, and surprisingly, uh, nobody stole them, even though it was like, they're only really in big cities, um, it was in a big city, and no one stole my Switch, ever, from me going to, I mean, I didn't really, I don't really, I didn't really bring my Switch to tournaments that often, right, it was mainly the bigger ones that had more security, I mean, Smash tournaments never had security, but the ones that People were less likely to be assholes. Let's just say that. Less less likely to be assholes that steal people's shit. Mm. It's like, how am I supposed it's like if I stole if I steal a setup, I don't get as many opponents to fight. It's unoptimal to get banned from <laughs> It's unoptimal to get banned from the Smash scene. Eh. If you want to win more at Smash, I guess. Mm. It's it's optimal for the health of your fucking brain. <laughs> Honestly, that game has- I was watching the VOD of my Smash stream, and that has so- that game has so much bullshit. I'm glad I quit playing competitively. I'm glad I quit playing competitively a while ago. Because <laughs> otherwise, I would, um... I'd be very depressed, let's just say that. Mm. Right, enough about tangent- I just said I wasn't gonna go on another tangent, and then went to another tangent. I'm gonna take a sip of tango to reset my brain. Mm. Emmy, yes, huh? Maybe that's not really a bad thing. That was bad diction. That was bad diction. Maybe that's not really a bad thing. Hmm. I feel like when I focus more on my diction, I end up pronouncing my T's more. Yeah. I guess because I'm British. I just did it then. Hmm. It's an easy way of. I move my mouth more. I've decided to move my mouth more. And that makes your diction better. Because, um... Yeah. I mean, why do you... Th I mean... <laughs> why do you think VTuber mouths are meant to move? Because uh, if you were mumbling, you wouldn't sound good. That was an example of me mumbling. When I mumble... See, because this microphone's good at, like, picking up... Because it goes a lot lower when you get closer to the mic. See, I can talk... I can mumble if I'm in... in if I'm close to the microphone. Yeah. You can't see it, because it's out of frame. Mm. Yeah, so if I, I've, also I've, I'm trying to uh, whisper less, because if I end up whispering, that's actually bad for your throat. Hmm, whispering's bad for your vocal cords. I found I sung a lot better when I decided to stop <laughs> whispering the lyrics whenever I hear a song. And, and like, instead of 
whispering along to songs. I need to go like hum along to them, like mm, 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 or start like <laughs> beatboxing. <laughs> you haven't been forgetting to take your medicine, have you? I'm catching a little murmur. You take it easy for a few days. The nurse's words hurt me far more than the ex. Oh, shit, if the morning run ever could. Take it easy for a few days? I knew I should have kept quiet. I keep my eyes on the floor, feeling like a complete idiot. And of course, I hadn't been remembering to take my medicine. I've been rushing out of my room to get to the track before Emmy. You gotta remember to take those. One of my uh, medicines is an antacid. So, let's all prism. It's an antacid. It's, um. It's so I don't get gas. Uh, I was. I think I was prescribed that after I was in the hospital for a seizure, which I got from something completely unrelated. I, I just sort of randomly got sick, drank too much, and then got hyponatremia. Mm, that's how I lost a bunch of weight, actually. <laughs> so I guess... <laughs> this is not advice. Do not take my advice. Uh, if you take my advice, you'll be killed by what you don't know. <sighs> and I'm not the Grim Reaper. Mm. Right. I felt inspired. I must have been running warm-up laps in the morning. So I've been running warm-up laps in the morning before Emmy shows up. But then today, while she and I were running, I felt a little pain in my chest because you forgot to take your fucking beta blockers. Ugh. You forgot to take your beta blockers. I'm gonna guess that's what arrhythmia patients take. I take it too, because I got my heart looked at once and my doctor said, damn bro, your heart goes way too fast. And I asked them for a... <laughs> and I asked them for a picture of it. I asked him if I could take a picture of my heart so I could put it on stream, and I've not done that because... Then they were like, well, actually, as a doctor, I had to sign an NDA. Oh, right, yeah. I know what one of those is because I watch VTubers. I didn't say that. I thought that bit. <laughs> mm. Mm. Anyway. So, no, you're not going to get the Chris Tellus heart reveal. Mm. Unfortunately, that's not going to be shown on stream. Mm. You'll have to imagine it. Mm. It was only sight, and it was only for a second. Slight, not sight, you fucking idiot. Mm. It was only slight, and it was only for a second. So I mentioned it to the nurse. Honestly, it wasn't that bad. He's gonna fucking yell at you, isn't he? He's gonna tell you off. Oh god, yeah, he's gonna tell you the hell off. Oh my god. I mean, I kept running and finished just fine, so really it couldn't have been that bad. Why do I feel like I'm making excuses to the nurse? Because you are! Because you are! Moreover, why do I feel I need to justify continuing to run despite the pain? Something something Mori Calliope lyrics, something something, uh, pain that you deserve to savor. Mm. Really, it comes down to being unwilling to con unwilling to concern Emmy, who seemed concerned anyway. Emmy is the same as you. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I only know like two Mori Calliope songs, but the ones I do know are pretty good. Um, the one was it? The one where she's like start creating, stop tweeting, and the and the the debut one. Modern day killers really must eat fun. More often people singing lights, looking knives and guns. The real murder cost who was in the dirt as a hell. Given the ulowing, you know, honest Moe, the sales customer. I'm surprised there's not a story as can she. Nice, nice stuff in the motherfucking da bitch. Why do I know so much of that? <laughs> it's because I tried to imagine it in Corpse Husband's voice. Because he sounds like this. Hmm, he has a lot of vocal fry. Mm. Anyway, really comes down to my being unwilling to concern Emmy, who's feeling concerned anyway. I'm not sure how she was able to tell there was anything wrong. But she claims I stumbled a little. She is the one who insisted I tell the nurse. So now I feel bad for worrying her at all. The nurse is shaking his head ruefully. <laughs> You'll rue the day. You'll rue it. Mm. While Emmy places outside the room. Paces. Pesos. That's what they pay for. In That's what they pay with in Mexico. Mm. He said, I know it's difficult for you to get into a new routine. But if you didn't want to find yourself in a lot of trouble, you're going to have to try harder. You can't afford to forget your peels. And you can't push yourself too hard. But if I don't push myself, how will I improve? I don't know where that came from. The nurse seems to have an idea. Have you ever heard of this hit game, League of Legends? I'm playing anything but that. This reminds me of my friends, my, one of my friends' friends. 
did an esports degree in university. And then he played- he said he played Valorant. Why would you subject yourself to that form of torture? What the fuck? Why would you- Why would you play Valorant? <laughs> Honestly, why would you play tactical shooters? They're so fucking boring. The only- I'm pretty sure the only not boring tactical shooter is... Rainbow Six Siege, because it's not a tactical shooter. I mean, it- it has the mechanics of a tactical shooter, but you can just sort of spray and pray and not work. Mm. I watched the- the Russian Badger video of it. He just did some goofy shit. I like- I like- he's one of my- I like that, um, he- he's one of my favorite you he's one of my favorite YouTubers, let's be honest. Um, but, like, the f I, I thought his thumbnails were, like, pure- his titles and thumbnails made his content look like it was for mindless children, but I clicked on it and it was like, oh, wait, this is actually funny. Oh, right, it's... Oh, he's actually funny. It, his titles are just obnoxious. <laughs> like, the sort of stuff... Sort of stuff a 12-year-old that thinks Metal Gear Rising is the funny, is the best game ever would, um... Enjoy. But then it's like, oh, wait, this is just Marvel 3. Law accurate Virgil destroys the Marvel people. You, oh, it's just a Marvel free tournament. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that's why you don't judge a book by its cover. I would have missed out on a good YouTuber if I didn't. If I was put off. If I just didn't click on one of his thumbnails. Yeah. I think he made a video about a game I played. No way he didn't. I, when did I click on a Russian Badger video? I don't know. One of them intrigued me, and then I clicked on it, and I was like, oh, he's actually. Entertaining. Okay. Hmm. The nurse seems to have an idea. Nowhere have I heard that before. Nowhere have I heard that before. He laughs and pats me on the shoulder. Ha! Huh. She's rubbing off on you, I guess. His expression changes again, and he's back in serious mode. Look, I'm not saying you shouldn't push yourself. Look. I'm not... <laughs> Wait a minute. If this, if this guy says bananas as he says, <laughs> we're not taking any chances. <laughs> Start into start. I'm beginning to feel like a rap god. I know more Japanese lyrics than fucking Eminem. Great. <laughs> mm. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't be taking your medication. It doesn't mean you should stop if your chest starts to bother you. I prefer not to have any fatalities while I'm on staff here. A bit of a lofty goal to be sure, but I'm always up for a challenge. I hate to admit it, but I think he's right. I've got to remember to take my meds. Mm. Shoutouts to when I couldn't take my meds for a week because I didn't have my pharmacy moved over. I stay. I was. I lived at my mom's house for a bit. Now I live with my dad. I still visit her. Mm. But um, there's just the pharmacy's close. There's a pharmacy close to me, and I had to get it like my medicine was running out. So I was like, oh wait, I've got a urgency. Oh god. I, uh, hello, pharmacy. I would like to, uh, 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 my body's fucked up. Let me get drugs. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah. Mm. So, I did not get it for a week. I just, it was running out and I was nearing the deadline. Oh, no. Mm. See, deadlines don't matter for song covers. Deadlines do matter for my own fucking health. <laughs> mm. You're right. I'm sorry to worry you. Who's worried? You're a smart kid, right? I know you can be responsible, he said. A situation like yours, you gotta learn to be responsible fast. I know, I know. I crammed all my life improvement into like a month. <laughs> oh no, I crammed my entire getting my life together in a month. That's why I'm making a series about getting your life together. Hmm. His expression suddenly becomes devotious. I suppose you started to enjoy your runs then with Emmy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they've been really helping me. I mean, until today, I was feeling a lot more healthy. Plus, it's really impressive to see Emmy run. Did you see her look? Did you see her at the track meet? She was incredible. Sugoina. Mm -hmm. The nurse, <laughs> the nurse nods, gritting all the while. There she was, he said. I watched her first couple of races before I had some business to take care of. But she told me all about it. Kind of in a laundry jacket, by the way. Huh? Oh yeah, well, it wasn't that big of a deal. How do you know this? I'd honestly forgotten about all that. I still haven't gotten it back. How does the nurse know this? Is this like... The god dude from Shin Megami Tensei? I, I don't know. Or is that Persona? I think it's Persona. Persona's better than Shin Megami Tensei. Don't at me. Mm. It's cause Persona's about like, friendship and family and like... 
social bonds and stuff. And Shin Megami Tensei is like, wouldn't it be fucked up if that happened? Hmm. That's probably why I got bored of um, SMT3 halfway through. Because I'm like, oh wait, I do not give a fuck about any of these characters. They're... They have nothing going. They have no... None of these characters have personality. Why should I care about the roles in this role-playing RPG? Why should I... In this role-playing game. Yeah. So maybe I'd like, um... I've heard Persona 4 is a good one. I've heard Persona 4 is a good one. Um, but it has less of the stuff from Persona 5. Um, it has good be It has good soundtrack. I don't want to be like... I don't want to be like other VTubers and be like, Oh my god, Persona 5 fan, finally excited to play it, because I... I've not played a Persona. I've not played any Persona games. Um, I want to play one. But I'm not sure if that would be good stream content, because those games are really fucking long. Mm, and you saw what happened when I played SMT3. Like, I don't want to play games that are too long, because then I feel like I have to finish it on stream. Um, even though I have two series where I've not done that. <laughs> I mean, Toho Misty Azizaki is more like a thing you have on in the background. It's not really much of a... It's not really much of a plot. It's more just... Oh yeah, cooking's fun. Hmm. It's not as good as stream game. Like, good stream games are ones that, like, get people to react a lot. Bad stream game is some one where you, um... You know, a bad stream game is one that's just, like, grindy and shit. Which is surprising why so many people play fucking Valorant. It's boring as hell. It's such a boring game. Why do so many people play Valorant? It's so boring. <laughs> The only time I watch Valorant streams is when it's like a collab with a bunch of VTubers and- Oh, that's why they play Valorant, because it's free to play. You can have up to five people on a team. That's probably why they all play it. Not because the game's any good, because it's shit. Not because the game's- But just like, be creative with your collab choices. Play 100% orange juice. <laughs> oh no. Right, what was he talking about? Oh yeah, what's... he didn't think it was a big deal. Mm. Mm, play better collab games, you'll have more fun, VTubers. I say this as someone with only 300 subscribers. <laughs> Am I qualified? No. <laughs> mm, doesn't matter, I can pretend to be qualified. Fake it till you make it. If part of faking it till you make it is rambling for hours about stuff that doesn't have anything to do with what you're playing, then I guess this is it. <laughs> okay. I'd honestly forgotten all about that. I still haven't gotten it back. The nurse gets a smile that makes me feel like he's just made a joke. Not to you. But Amy certainly appreciates it. And I know she appreciates you. Running in with her in the mornings. This one ca this one catches me off guard a little. Sure, she mentioned that it's easier to keep to a schedule of an extra person. I guess that's... For me, that's Sparky. Yeah, I guess for me, that person's Sparky. Yeah, because we both have, like... We're, we're both the only people in... We're the only two people in Ruby Light with the same kind of... With the same time zone, yeah. We're the only people in Ruby Light with the same time zone. The other two are Texas, I believe. Um, I say specifically Texas because America has like three time zones. Um, but yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're less like a group of four and more like two groups of two. <laughs> oh, great. Mm. I want to work to make our group more cohesive. I sort of just made the group and then we didn't really do much with it, but I want to get us together. I want to get us together for a, at least a collab. <laughs> at least so we could actually play Uno. God, why was Uno so fucking hard to set up? Right. Mm. Chris Tallis, get on with the fucking visual novel. Okay, Chris Tallis, I'll get on with the visual novel. <laughs> mm. This one catches me off guard a little. Sure, she mentioned that it's easier to keep to a schedule of an extra person. But I didn't think that I was doing her a favor at all. I thought she was doing me the favor of helping me follow the doctor's orders. She tries harder when you're around. If there's anyone else running around with her, she's gonna push herself more. Yeah, I feel like that's what me and Sparky do. Like, I like, I don't know. Uh, uh, with, with, uh, when we've been talking more, I've, I feel like we've both been happier since we've been talking to each other more often. Hmm. Hmm. Well, maybe that's because... You know I made that tweet about my life's improved after consuming only VTuber shit. Um, basically... That might also be a symptom of using... Not... Not, not using fucking Twitter. Uh... Yeah. Stop using Twitter. 
I know every content creator says it, and then people are like, it sure, surely can't be that bad. Go on Twitter right now, go on the For You page, and you probably can't scroll for 10 seconds without finding something that annoys you. Have I proven my point, Jamlings? Right, right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Use the- <laughs> Use the following page if you follow me, because sometimes I make banger tweets about crystals. Yeah! Mm, Twitter is a nightmare. Mm, I know, I know. But they do have, uh, they have Mineral Monday. Oh yeah, they got Mineral Monday. Mm. They probably have Mineral Monday on Twitter, on Tumblr. Tumblr's a better social media than Twitter. Mm. But yeah, I- I like looking at crystals. Mm. I like geology. I'm- I'm a casual and I'm a casual geology enjoyer. Like, I collect the crystals, which is a bit more than some people who say, I'm into geology. Okay, where's your collection? Uh, I collect, uh, beach, sa beach glass. What the fuck is beach glass? What the fuck is <laughs> me when I went on sense paint day? Mm. Not paint day, because my computer could barely run fucking MS Paint. Um, <laughs> I was on the thing where it was like, riz up this dude, and I was socially awkward as fuck because I... Nah. I was on a VTuber dating show once. And then I found out I was ace. <laughs> mm. Um, she's gonna push herself more. And she tries even harder when you're around because, well, it's you. Know, what the heck does that mean? Oh, oh. <laughs> You'd love to know, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, um... Don't obsess yourself about other... If you were a VTuber, if there's a VTuber watching this, hello, I'm Chris Talis, let's collab. Um, if there's a VTuber watching this, don't be too concerned about what other VTubers are doing. Um, the only person you should be comparing yourself to is yourself, but, like, from the past. Because that's the only person you can... Like, I've been watching a bunch of my old VODs and being like, Okay, so I... I I'm yapping, I'm yapping. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. But I can tell I've improved, like, a lot since I started. I used to stream on Twitch, that's a shit platform. That's a shit platform. <laughs> mm. You'd love to know, wouldn't you? Or maybe I'm brainwashed by Hololive. <laughs> to think, okay, well, a bunch of good streamers are on YouTube. Maybe YouTube's better for streaming. Mm. I don't know, YouTube has a different culture. Don't know how to describe it, but it has a different culture. I guess it doesn't... I guess YouTube, people tend to, like, you know, shut up and listen more often. It makes sense, because <clears throat> YouTube's a video platform. It's less social in nature, which is actually better for, like, entertainment content. Hence why you find a lot of people watching VTuber VODs, but not a lot of streamer VODs, because VTubers are more of a performance, I guess. Mm. Yeah. If my constantly barely being able to read because I keep talking about other shit a performance. It's it's a performance. I had to warm up for at least ten minutes. Mm. Right, he laughs in the style of an evil megalomaniac, but <laughs> No no, seriously. It's because of your your friend. If Rin ran with her, I'm sure she'd do the same. Well probably. But that's not the point. The point is you're helping her. Even if you don't know you are. And if I'm helping you gemlings with anything that's great. And she's grateful for that, even if she never says it. What do you mean, if she, even if she never says it? La 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 Nether. Like the Netherlands. Weed's legal over there. Mm. Mm. Um, I've, spoke to, I've spoken to my dad a couple times about... If we went on a European holiday, we could go to, like... Um, Netherlands or something. Uh, because they have good streets and stuff. Like... One time I went to Portugal, the roads were terrible for disabled dudes. Um, but I've heard uh, Netherlands pretty good. But, like, you can't mention a Scandinavian country with around someone older without them being like, Oh, you're gonna smoke weed there. I'm not... A, I'm a stone, not a stoner. What do you mean? <laughs> no, I, I'm not gonna go to there just... To, I wouldn't go there just to smoke weed. You can smoke weed anywhere. Just don't tell the cops. Just don't tell the police. <laughs> oh, no. But you didn't get that advice from me. Mm. That's not very say-so of you. I never stated, I, I never said I was say-so. I just said I wasn't lewd. Mmm. <laughs> right. 
Emmy doesn't talk a lot, but she and I have known each other long enough that I can read her most of the time. I'll admit it, I have no idea what he's talking about. Oh, right, I... Ah, uh, because his... his... It's because his character color is white because of his lab coat, but I, I didn't realize it wasn't his voice. Okay, I'm just dumb. Mm. Pawn. Pawn Bunkle. I'm a Pawn Bunkle, clearly. I'll admit it. I have no idea what he's talking about. Emmy always seems pretty talkative to me. I see. Did he get them? Did he get them confused again? Let me guess. He confused Emmy for Rin because they're both the ones who are missing limbs, right? They finish each other. Oh, crap. I got them the wrong way around. I should not be a nurse. I, I should not be a nurse, y'all. <laughs> the nurse suddenly realized that he's been rambling and stops talking, looking a little embarrassed. He's just like me. He's he's just like me. Oh my god, this is my Gosling moment. He's just like me for real. He's just like me for real. This is my Ryan Gosling moment. Mm. Uh he, he is literally me. Oh my god. Why is everyone in this... Why is everyone in this visual novel literally me? Oh god. Anyway, you don't have to stop your morning exercise. Just walk around the track instead of running for a few days. Let things calm down. Why do I keep reading it as calm down? That's... What? And say your damn medicine. Calm down. That's like... New Zealand accent. That's like a Kiwi accent. Let things calm down. Let things calm down. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a New Zealand accent. Let things calm down. Let things calm down. You, if you go, if you go, if you go, if you do an Australian accent and then go slightly more British, you end up sounding South African. Um, I think that's that's one way of putting it. Like Australian Kiwi South Africa, they're like similar accent. Mm. So basically, like, you- if you're good at one, you could probably good at the other two, if you can do stuff with you. Honestly, that's probably why I'm good at singing. Mm. I do a lot of impressions. Like, wahoo! Like, when I do that, when I do my Mario impression, wahoo! That, like, wahoo! That's a good falsetto. <laughs> mm. Take your damn medicine. Mm, mm, mm. That's probably how I ended up doing a, getting a good chess voice, because uh, I did a lot of American accents when I was a kid. My dad will probably tell you the time about... Um, I'd always talk about bagels. I'd always talk about... I'm going to go to New York and get a bagel. Mm, that's what I would do. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. New York's not a town, you fucking imbecile. Uh, if I would go back in my... If I would go back in time, I'd be like, New York's not a town, idiot. Mm, it's a city. Mm. Okay. Mm. What the fuck? Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. Hello. What are you doing here? Fucking jump scare, goddamn. I laugh as I exit the oxit. That was not words, Chris. Mm. I laugh as I exit the office, bumping straight into Emmy. Whoops, sorry about that. Whoops, you need to put the CD up your ass. <laughs> I love Lego Island. I've never played it. Are you okay? What did the nurse say? Do you need to go to a hospital? Oh my gosh, it was my fault, wasn't it? I hate when anime characters do this. I hate when anime characters do this. This is my this is the one anime trope I can't fucking stand. When um people just go on a whole like lecture when someone bumps into someone else. It's like it's like they just assume a million things, and it's like, do you not know what the... Uh, me, the audience, has just seen the thing you've explained. It's so fucking frustrating when you don't... No. Uh, uh, I know they do it on purpose, and it's probably good writing, but I, I hate how annoying it is, because that happens in real life. Because <laughs> I hate what happens in real life. Oh, no. Mm, like, like... Like I'll say to my dad, "Hey, I'm I, I've been a bit tired. I'm a bit, I'm tired. I'll, I'll I'll just mention like I'm a bit tired today." And then he'll be like, "Oh, well, blah 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 blah." And then I'll talk for like half an hour about how to sleep better and what caffeine does to your body. And then we'll end up googling and we'll have a good conversation. But like, if I'm if I'm busy with something, I'm like, "Oh, I just wasted half an hour." 
when I should have been... Hmm. I just wasted a bunch of time when I could have been being productive. Oh, no. I'm, I'm, maybe I'm a workaholic. Oh, God. Mm. I'm a workaholic, just not for a real job. <laughs> hmm. Anyway. Oh, my gosh, it was my fault, wasn't it? I've been pushing you too hard, haven't I? I'm a horrible person. The words... Emmy, you're a fucking... No, you're an idiot. I keep saying fucking idiot like it's one word. <laughs> oh my god, I'm insensuating. I'm British. I'm part Irish, of course I'd swear like a sailor. <gasps> I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Why did I just think of that bloody song? Mm. The words pour forth like a torrent. She's really agitated. I didn't expect her to be this concerned about me, to be honest. Gotta calm her down. How the hell do I do that? I do the only thing I can think of. I give her a hug. Ah, Emmy tenses up slightly. So I put her head in what I hope is a reassuring manner. Hey, settle down. It's fine, okay? No worries. I can feel Emmy's body relax as I continue to assure I'm fine. And then we have a cute moment. Ah, And then my favorite... Then one of my favorite anime tropes. Hugs. Ah, they're so cute. They're so cute. I find them more cute than... I find them more cute than kissing. Because kissing is just like, oh, you're spreading your saliva. A hug is like, ah. You're spreading your warmth. Hmm. Right. Hmm. Her arms wrap around me, as if she's trying to confirm that I'm not about to fall over dead. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I catch her with a whiff of her hair. It smells like a sweat. It smells like sweat. Oh, how adrenaline should smell. Adrenaline doesn't smell like anything. If your adrenaline smells like something, you're gonna have an adrenal. Cli you're gonna have adrenal crisis. Hugs are superior. Exactly. Exactly, Rosie. You get it, this gemlin gets it. Hmm. It's the scent of activity. <laughs> this feel, this feels selfish, but imagine... Uh, this is probably a selfish request, but imagine if I got art of just, like... Hugs. <laughs> hmm. Someone shows me, like, hugging a gemlin. Like, ah. That could be cute. That could be cute. Hmm. But I'm not asking for it. I just think that would be cute. <laughs> I don't have many artists. There aren't many artists, Janlings, are there? There's Zoti. There's Zotiko. Um, he makes a lot of art. It's very good. I appreciate your art, Zoti. You don't have to make it, but thanks. Especially for the ones with the covers, like, because I wanted, I wanted my covers to have, like, art. Like, you know the Killing Me cover? That was Zotiko. Mm. I mean, his, his name was different then. It was Pataluda then, but He's changed it. Mm. Mm. Rebrand, yeah. VTubers that change their names. I guess it fits better than... I guess... Because it's, cause it's, um... It's like Greek for grass elf. And, like, Petalida's Greece for... It's like Greek for butterfly. Which... He's not themed like a butterfly. He's an elf. Mm. Mm. Anyway. Mm. As I was saying, um... It's the scent of activity, and a hint of strawberries from her. Let's fucking go. Okay, she has good shampoo. Mm, I don't know. She might. She. I don't know. She might steal my heart instead of Rin. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think we've gotten to the part of the visual novel. I was gonna say game. I. I don't think she's got. We've gotten to the part of the visual novel where we find that much about Rin yet. So you know. Mm. I just need to remember to take my medicine. That's all. Don't worry about it. It's not your fault. You're sure. Her voice is muffled, mostly because at the moment her face is pressed into my chest. Yeah, I'm sure. I just need to take it a little easy for the next few days. I've noticed that um, after I've been able to fucking sleep properly, I can do the voices better. <laughs> I can do the voices a lot better after I've been able to actually fucking sleep. Hmm. It's like I, it's like I did everything right except I just couldn't sleep, and I didn't know what it was. But like, yeah, apparently I was just too cold. Just too cold. Hmm. Mm. Or I wasn't comfy enough. I probably wasn't comfy enough. That was probably it. Mm. But now I've decided, oh yeah, I'm gonna be... The way to sleep properly is to be comfy. It's like, I'm using a blue light filter. So, one time I even turned off my computer. Before I, like an hour, like a few before I was about to sleep, so I didn't get any blue light. It didn't work. Yeah. Like, I, I, I tried to sleep earlier. It didn't work. So clearly the, the, the solution was just the clothing. Oh. <laughs> Mm. How close the two of us- you're literally in the middle of a hug right now. It also occurs to me how nice being this close feels. It's cute. 
Hmm. I can feel Emmy's heartbeat calming down, and I have to resist the urge to rest my chin on the top of her head. Thank goodness. You really had me worried there, Hiso. Emmy, you gonna come in here anytime soon? Oh, I'm sorry, was I interrupting? God, he's like my dad. <laughs> that's why I, that's probably why I like the nurse so much. He's he reminds me of my dad. <laughs> my dad's pretty funny. Mm. The two of us spring apart as if the other just caught on <laughs> caught on fire. Uh Emmy brushes her hair back nervously and laughs. Of course not. I'll uh see you later, okay? Oh, and and he's out? Hmm? Take your damn medicine. The last phrase is punctuated by a punch to the shoulder. Oh, yeah, she gotta have a... She's a sun today. She's a sun today. She's gotta have a little... A little... A little... A little bite in her. Mm. This dog's... This got... This... This dog's got a little bite in her. I'm not using dog as an insult here. I'm... Dogs are cute, okay? Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'll remember. See you later. She's like a puppy. Right, that's what you'd use, because puppies are... Considered cuter. Um, the nurse smiles again like he's on some joke I don't know about and waves to me as I heard from my next room. Let me guess. The joke is my ex-wife. <laughs> Why don't, if you hate your wife, dump her. <laughs> Comedians, if you hate your wives, dump them. <laughs> You'll be happier. <laughs> the end, a divorce is not the end of a good relationship. It's the end of a bad one. <laughs> Thank you, Adam Ruins Everything. That's the, the one thing I actually learn from that shit. Most of it was just blind cynicism. Uh. I need a shower. I had a shower earlier. A cold one. Oh god, no! Not a cold shower! I would never have a cold shower. If if the shower's cold, I'm just not showering. So yesterday, no I didn't. I didn't shower yesterday. Because the gas wasn't on, because I had to go buy the gas. Um, And it takes a while to turn on. Wait, no it doesn't. Turns on instantly, we just forgot to put the gas card in the actual gas thingy. I don't know. British gas. Whatever. Hmm. It's not even British gas. I'm just staying a generic one so no one doxes me. Hmm. A cold one. As if the thoughts running through my head. Running through my head, running through my head, running through my head. All the things she said, all the things she said. Running through my head, running through my head, running through my head. This is not enough of... Chris Tallis gets copyright claimed. Mm. Oh, right, right. I somehow I remember that more. Somehow I remember that more from uh, Chica Chica Fujilisa's um, karaoke that she did instead of an actual <laughs> on the radio. Mm. Yeah, I guess. I guess the best. I guess most of the English songs I like are emo stuff. So I guess that makes sense. Mm. I, I I was born to an emo song. <laughs> I was born to an emo song. I was born to, uh, how can you see? I was born to wake me up, wake me up and I can't wake up, wake me up and say, man. I was born to that song. Mm. They had a radio on in the hospital mm. when I was being born. Great. Great. That's probably why I like metal now. Mm. She was really soft. My pills are waiting for me when I make it to my room. See, swallow them. I oh, must have minded. Dissolvable, hmm, because I got them when I was a child and I wasn't good with those. I could probably ask, actually, I should probably ask my doctor for swallowable versions of my medicines, just so I can do them faster, just so I don't have to, you know, have water with them, try and find a glass, because my go-to morning drink is coffee. I, I, like, I have, I have a beta blocker. That's one of, because my heart goes too fast. I take that, it's like a swallow thing. I just take that with my coffee in the morning, because cause they don't taste like anything. And if they do taste like anything, they taste like chalk. So, you know. I don't know how people can dry swallow, like, medicine. How people can dry swallow tablets. Pills, if you're American. Um, I don't know how people can dry swallow tablets like that. Like, I saw an infographic, I think it was like, hey VTubers, how do you take your meds? It's like, well, damn, you know, you know what Vichy was like. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. And I saw Dry Swallow. I was like, what the fuck do you mean, Dry Swallow? I gotta have some liquid to... Okay, Rosie, I guess you are... I guess you have a stronger throat than I do. I guess you have a stronger throat than I do, Rosie. Um, I don't know. I find it 
irritating mm, to feel it in my throat. And I'm like, ah, what if I, I'm like, it's, it's like the size of a fucking, it's like the size of a Tic Tac. I'm like, no, it's like half the size of a Tic Tac. I'm like, what if I choke on it? I'm not gonna choke on it, but you know, that's, that's like a gag reflex. Um, I guess I do have a gag reflex. That's probably what, that's probably what it is. Probably what it is. That's probably why I have to take my tablets with, with water. Cause otherwise I'll, I'll just end up like, not spit it out. I'll like do the thing where it's like halfway between vomiting and spitting, but without like, like a, like a full, like a projectile spit. That's what I'd end up doing. And I don't want to waste my tablets. You're not meant to do that. You're not meant to waste your medicine um, like that. I mean, I did it once with a uh, multivitamin, but multivitamins can, you, they're not crucial to your survival as a, as a disabled guy. Mm. Then they're more just like help out when you eat very unhealthily for a week. <laughs> I eat very unhealthily. I, what did I have for lunch today? I had a pot noodle. So, you know, mm. that reminds me, I need to get bread. We need bread so I can have actual proper breakfast tomorrow. We ran out of cereal because I had the rest of the the last of the fruit and fiber and the last of the crunchy nut. This is just me thinking aloud. This has nothing to do with Katawa Shoujo. Let me let me get on with this shit. <laughs> he saw you made me ramble. Mm. I swallowed them without a second thought. I don't know why I didn't think of waiting until after the runs to take them. For some reason, I figured it was when I woke up or not at all. He has ADHD. Mm. <sighs> no, he doesn't. But that's one of the symptoms of it. Mm. That's what, that's one of the things that can happen if you have ADHD. I know because my dad sometimes does that. Like, got to, maybe that's more autism. I actually, no, I think that's more autism, actually. It's like, I gotta do this at this specific time, and if I don't, I'm just gonna forget it exists. Uh, yeah, that's, that, that, yep, that sounds a bit... Now that I've said it out loud, that sounds like, more like autism, because... I am on the, I... If I'm, I, I'm on the spectrum, if I remember correctly. High functioning, because I am able to function a stream. Mm. Mm. Anyway, but no, they only need to be taken every 24 hours. The exact time of day doesn't factor into it. Okay, mm -hmm. my thoughts drift into the back into the hug in the hallway. Like, I have to have a very specific routine in the morning. I get up. I get up. I get up. I absorb the blue light from my computer's monitor because I can't be bothered to open my, uh, curtains. I go downstairs. I have my drugs. I have a coffee. I have breakfast. I come upstairs and then do thing. I come back upstairs and then I do, like, whatever YouTubing things I need to do. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's my morning routine. And, and I throw brushing my teeth in there somewhere. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I need to remember to do that. I don't want to have bad teeth. I don't want to be the British stereotype of having bad teeth. Hmm. <laughs> if, if any motivation is good motivation. Hmm. It's weird. You'd expect... I don't want to have to go to Turk Go all the way to Turkey to get my teeth whitened. My mum did that. They looked unnaturally white. Hmm. Uh, uh, teeth are meant to be, like, slightly yellow. Hmm. Like not like enough that you could notice, but like if you go if you go with like with a microscope, you're supposed you you're meant to notice that slightly, like slightly, like the tiniest tinge, like not like eggshell, like yeah, it's supposed to be like an eggshell color, not like you know like when you get like a really pale egg, that that's like the color your teeth are naturally. Mm. If you brush them, mm. unless you use whitening toothpaste, unless you use whitening toothpaste, in which case your teeth will be whiter than that because mm. of like. Some whining thing. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Hmm. I could make it a YouTube. I could make it a YouTube short in the uh, crystal clear life pro tips. Hmm. 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 How to brush your teeth? How to fix your teeth? Hmm. How to not have British teeth? <laughs> hmm. It's weird. You'd expect someone to smell foul after a run, but for some reason, Emmy smelled right. That tinge of sweat just seemed to fit her. Yeah, because she has, because she uses deodorant. He saw. Hmm. I know, I know you're a teenager. You're a teenager, he sound. You're getting B, e, B, O. B, O? That's the Smash 4 tech. What? <laughs> That's a Smash 4 tech. Uh, you're getting B, O. <laughs> hmm. And he smelled right. That tinge of sweat seems just a fitter. Yeah, because it was sweat mixed with, um, 
the deodorant. Mm. I really need that shower. I've always found it weird. People... People always tell teenage boys, more often than teenage girls, that they smell. I guess... Is that like a genetic thing? I don't know. I know I, 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 this is just from when I was a teenage boy. Mm. I This is purely anecdotal. If I'm wrong about you girls, correct me. I, I'm a very dumb carbuncle. Mm. Well, I wouldn't say dumb, I'm just not tagful. Hmm. <laughs> Strange that it feels so natural for me to go to the roof these days. Don't jump. She's a Muyoni, so can't say you Yoni. <laughs> Don't jump. <laughs> Everybody do the flop. <laughs> Don't. Mm. I would never have done such a thing at my old school. In those days, I like to eat alone. No, that's not quite true. Though I like to sit alone, I also like to watch people. I liked to watch, um... The nerdy, pe the nerdy boys play uh, Yu-Gi-Oh with each other and have no idea what was going on because, because Yu-Gi-Oh is intentionally obtuse. Mm. But I'm sure it's good once you get to understand it. It's sort of like a hundred percent orange juice. That game's a bit, that game can be a bit obtuse in places. That's probably why VS didn't like it. Um, that's probably why VS didn't didn't enjoy it. Cause it's like it's a bit obtuse in places, uh, and I. I find it annoying when... I found it annoying when Yuichi, like... I played it for the first time and he over-explained it and I'm like, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll, fi I'll figure... Oh, you're still, you're still explaining things. I'll figure it out. So it made me not explain the game at all to people who probably needed to know. <laughs> so yeah, um, character flaw on my end. He, he was probably just trying to be thorough, like... He, fa he probably found a bunch of people who had no fucking clue how board games worked. I play a lot of board games. I played Risk, I played Scrabble a lot with my mum. In fact, I've only played... Board games more on my mum's side. Um, yeah, my mum, my mum loves board games. But Pop, Mama Talis loves board games. Mm. Scrabble is her favorite. She plays a lot of Scrabble. I think I've only beaten her at Scrabble like once. Mm, she's very good. Mm. She's very good at Scrabble. Mm. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, we played Risk once. I beat everyone, and then we never played it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, I like I like myself some board games. Um, I like Uno. Uno is not hard, you know. I, 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 like to play, I like to play Uno with all the rules, not just the, uh, you know, the basic rules. The kids' rules, as I call them. The kids' rules for Uno are so fucking boring. Hmm. Because the kids' rules in Uno are boring. Hmm. It's like... What do you mean Zero doesn't do it? What do you mean? Two doesn't skip your turn. Hmm. I've never played Uno. I really need to do that Ruby Light Uno collab then, so I can... So I can show you. Hmm. Hmm. Now that I finally got my fucking Ubisoft to account, <laughs> I remember in that bloody, <laughs> in the Carby Gaming stream, <laughs> I was, I was like, Ubisoft, kill yourself. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that just like, I got so mad at Ubisoft, that just sort of blurted it out, blurted itself out. <laughs> How can, <laughs> if they killed theirself, they wouldn't be able to fix the damn game, Chris. Hmm. That's what I mean by compare yourself to the past you. <laughs> Oh, man. Mm, it's fine. I improved. I improved since... Giving death threats to unknown game developers. Mm, right. I didn't even... I didn't even give them one. I just said it on stream. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of YouTubers have Minhera outbursts like that. Mm. At least mine aren't very long. Mine, mine are just like, This game is so fucking stupid and annoying and I hate you. <laughs> oh, man. I always figured out what- I always figured that was the sort of person I was, but it appears I was wrong. Usually I get very salty when I'm tired, like the Splatoon one where I tried to go longer than I did, or Penny's Big Breakaway when I was near the end of that game, I was like, Why are there more levels? Instead of just finishing. <laughs> Instead of just ending the stream like a fucking normal person. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Then again, I also thought- it I was the sort of person to have a normal heart. So there you have it. No, you have kingdom hearts. I don't know myself that well. He finally said it. Mm. Yeah, you can't really know other people if you don't know yourself. How to improve your life. Step one, know yourself. How do, we, how do you know yourself? 
let yourself give yourself a chance to think. Don't be a hundred percent productive all the time. You gotta you gotta have breaks every now and then. I mean, I had a Tetris break that was technically not a break today um, because it was technically practicing for the tournament. But the tournament next week's just gonna be like yeah, some fun shit, some fun shit with a bunch of VTubers. A lot of VTubers have entered that. It's meant it's meant to be a streamer thing. It's like half of the people there are VTubers, <laughs> and I'm one of them. Wow, I'm so glad you. I'm so glad I was invited. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that was invite only. Might have been. Yeah. Now I'm on the roof. That now I'm on the roof so that I can have lunch with a couple of people, and they're both girls, which is even strange. What do you mean even stranger? Oddly enough, I feel even closer to Emmy and Rin than I felt to anyone in my old school. I think. He's out. I think you just have a lot of friends that are girls. I don't think it's weird. It's not like a harem or anything. It's just you have a bunch of friends that happen to be female. I guess that's how it feels to be a male VTuber, doesn't it? Because you have a bunch of friends that just happen to be girls. You don't really think about their gender much. You're just like, yep, yeah, these are my colleagues. Hmm. Hmm. At least I don't. Hmm. Oddly enough, I feel closer to Emmy and Rin than I did, than I felt to went out at my old school. Somehow I get the feeling that at least visit me if I wind up in the hospital. I'm just like, people are people are people. I do watch a lot of Hollow Stars. I do watch a lot of Hollow Stars. Hmm. And indie males, actually. Hmm. Apollo Kepler, my beloved. Okay. Hmm. I focus on the view from the roof, banishing such thoughts from my head. There's a light breeze blowing, and the sun is shining in high in the sky. The sky itself is deep blue, with a hardly with hardly a cloud in it. It's gotten pleasantly warm, and as I sit down to wait for my friends, I close my eyes. I close my eyes and I can see Greatest Showman Karaoke when? Hmm. I close my eyes and enjoy the feeling of the sun slipping into my skin. That was like the one normal musical film I watched that wasn't like bad. I watched a watch I've watched a lot of Disney musicals, but that was kind of I have a sister who's- I have a five-year-old sister. Yeah, you can see how I don't really enjoy many Disney films, even though some of them have good songs. Uh, like, Frozen has a bunch- Frozen has some good songs. Hmm. Uh, The Lion King has better songs, and Aladdin- the- wah, 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 wah. Aladdin has, like, really good songs. Hmm. Yeah, that's what happens when you get- I don't want to say John Lennon. I don't think it was him. No, it was someone else. No, John Lennon's like, Rocket Man! Yeah, that's what he is. Mm. I don't know. I don't really... Mm. I only really started liking musicals after I watched um Tenacious D and the Pick of Destiny. Because it's very good. And Jack Black makes good music. Mm. I'm like, they made a metal musical? Well, it's it's a rock musical, but still... They made a rock musical? Holy shit. And it was the best thing ever. Mmm. I love that movie. <laughs> I mean, it might it might not have much plot or relevance to anything, but it's it's a dumb, goofy movie where he turns off lasers with his knob. Anyway. Mmm. <laughs> Voices intrude upon the edge of hearing. Seems to have fallen asleep on us, Ren. Maybe he's faking. Blurs into a false sense of security. Why would he do that? No idea. Still, you make a good point. We should kick him or something to make sure he's really asleep. Ah, uh, what? Emmy looms over me like only a short girl can, peering at me intently. Don't you dare look up her skirt. <laughs> oh, you're awake. I guess we don't have to kick you then. Is it part of your master plan? What are you talking about? Emmy shrugs, her twin tails bouncing with the motion. I'm not sure either. You must be pretty tired to fall asleep out here. She looks like Michiru from... Ta Talentless Nana. Talentless Nana. I, want, I, wish I should watch the rest of Talentless Nana. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good anime. It's about a girl who is an assassin and she has no talents and she has to kill all the people who don't have talents. It's great. Mm. But I've not finished it. Like, I rushed through the rest of Oshinoko, and I didn't really enjoy it that much, because I rushed through it. No, I feel like Oshinoko starts good, and then it gets kind of 
boring near the end, because, like, okay, we get it. Ai's dead, and her kids are gonna find out the the meaning of being an idol, and then they... Okay, it's, it, Oshinoko is better, like, theoretically than, like, actually watching the anime. The manga's probably better. The manga's probably better. It has more context. Yeah. Mm. But, uh, Hoseki no Kuni, yeah, that's a good anime. Mm. Even though it only does, like, one arc from the manga, they... They had... You know, they, they did what they could. They did what they could. They did just before the moon arc, which is, like, where most of the plot of Hoseki no Kuni happens, but... I'm not... I'm gonna stop talking before I spoil Land of the Lustrous for anyone. In case you want to catch up, because Land of the Lustrous, the manga, ends on the 25th of April. Hmm. So, um... I should probably catch up on that. I have a month to, uh... Read the entirety of Land of the Lustrous. Where can I find that? I'm gonna have to do some research. Mm. I could own it physically, but like... Translated, translated manga is very expensive. Especially in England, because it's... Well, because cause, cause of importing. Mm. So yeah. Mm. Alright. I must feel pretty tired to fall asleep out here. Although it's pretty comfortable, I suppose. She plop- Badum. She plops down next- She fucking die pan- She fucking die pan the bench. Uh... Ren sits opposite from the two of us. A move which only makes me more aware of the girl sitting next to me. Why did they make Ren so small? This is like when- This is like an OVTuber collab where they make someone too small by accident. Th this is like an OVTuber collab when- Like you have the main person and then everyone else is like a Fugi. <laughs> Rin, you look like a Fugi tech right now. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Average VTuber collab. Mm. Average indie VTuber collab. I concentrate on my food, trying to tune out the majority of the conversation that Emmy and Rin are having. Despite my best efforts, however. Oh my. <laughs> I read it back. I read the names backwards. Emmy and Rin. It's like when I was doing Renai circulation on karaoke and I was like. It was like, foo a foo a doo, foo a foo a dee, but I did it the other way around. But I did it the other way around. Hmm. Despite my best efforts, however, I still find myself glancing over at Emmy whenever she speaks. I notice how she purses her lips when she's thinking about something, squinting slightly as if that would improve her thinking about- I think I just like her. I think I just like her, Hisao. Rin says something that makes Emmy laugh, and I notice, perhaps for the first time, how she laughs with her whole body, rocking back and forth. I'm just like- <laughs> Oh my god. I- do I laugh like that? How do I laugh? <laughs> no, I laugh more with my chest. Yeah, I laugh more with my upper chest area. Like a falsetto, like a- <laughs> Yeah, that's- I, I laugh more high-pitched. Mm, yeah. Mm. Like a- Like pecora, but like higher. Mm. Like pecora, but without the- uh, Usada pecora, but without the rhythm. I had to say her name three times to remember who it, to remember who it was. Remember, 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 remember. I mumbled that word. Remember, remember, remember. That's remember, remember. It's three syllables, Chris Tellis. Mm. Mm. Rin says something that makes uh. All oh, right, whole body rocking back and forth, head thrown back, almost like she's about to fall over. Ah, oh, thank you, Tango Mango. You're very nice. Sugar free? I've only just noticed that. It's sugar free! It has. Somehow it has. 0.17 grams of salt in it. Is that the secret ingredient to making good, uh. I guess not orange aid, I guess it's mango aid. Mm. Did I spill that shit on my. I spilled it on the top of the Wii U, I didn't spill it on, like, the pants. Good, 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 because otherwise we won't be able to play Wii Sports tomorrow. And I really want to play Wii Sports tomorrow. You know, you know how much effort I put into that thumbnail? I wanted it to look banging. I wanted the thumbnail to look good because I love Wii Sports. Matt, you're going to get your ass beat. Yeah, this sort of sounds like the uh, Pokemon Center theme. I but like without the main light motif, it sounds like all the background music without the. Ba da ba 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 ba. Ba da ba da 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 da. 
Yeah, it sounds like that. Mm. I probably look like a creep. I'm a weirdo. Mm. It's about this time that I realize Emmy's looking at me. Her face raised slightly, so she's probably just asked me a question. Oh, uh, sorry, I kind of zoned out for a moment there. Emmy rolls her eyes while a slight smirk. With a slight quirk of the eyebrow is the only sign that Rin's even paying attention. She was like, huh? She was like, huh? <laughs> I'd bet. I just did a thumbnail face. What even was that? I do. I always do these weird breathing things. I don't. Maybe, maybe I'm just talking too much. And then my subconscious is like, "Bro, breathe. What the fuck?" <laughs> mm. I said, "Did you get a career server in your class too?" You know, one of those. What do you want to do with the high school things? Maybe it's because I'm drinking fizzy stuff. It's probably because I'm drinking fizzy stuff. Uh, let's hope there's no caffeine in Tango. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, carbohydrates, sugars, protein, carbonated sugar, and ah, carbonated sugar-free apple and mango soft drink with sweeteners, no artificial colors or flavors. Uh, water, juice, acids, uh, acidity regulator, natural flavoring. Um. Potassium sorbate. Oh, that's the thing that makes it taste like potassium sorbate. That's like lemon salt. Um, uh, carotene. Oh, that's good for your skin. Huh. I didn't know carotene. I didn't know tango had carotene in it. Hmm. Um, right. Sucralose. Uh, oh, right, because it's sugar-free. Mm, yeah. Sucralose is like fake sugar. Um, it's got, it's got a fucking antioxidant. <laughs> It's got a fucking anti it's got an antioxidant in it. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Chris Tallis reads a can of tango for Chris Tallis reads a can of tango ASMR. Hmm. Yes, that's a stream we're doing. It's not. This is The can's barely got any words on it. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. I don't think so. Maybe we'll get one. I could make one of those ASMR videos. ASMR RP your boyfriend reads uh, a tango can. <laughs> mm. What are you gonna put down? That's a really good question. I uh, guess I already think I guess I always figured I'd go to college after high school. Mm. But I've no idea what I'd do once I got there. And with the heart attack and all, I'd really be concentrating on H day as if H day as it came rather than Making long-term plans. I've not edited a video for this week. Gemlings, I hope you look forward to uh, <laughs> ASMR roleplay. Mm. I suppose I can safely start planning ahead again. I've always liked having at least a vague plan for my future. So it'll be nice to come up with one again. Of course, that doesn't change the fact that right now I've got absolutely no clue. I've always kind of assumed I'd figure it out in college. That or just become a salary man. That's pretty popular. You gotta Karoshi yourself. No! Mm. No, he's Sal, you're gonna die to Karoshi. Karoshi means overwork death. Mm. But do I really want to? That's a tough question. You should be a VTuber, like me. Mm. I guess I don't really want to do anything. You should join Hollow Stars. <laughs> mm. You don't seem very excited about that one, do you? I say that as if it's easy to get into Hollow Stars. <laughs> mm. She laughs and she says this, and I'm caught up in her laugh again. It's so girlish. I am giggling. <laughs> I can't. No. No, I'm not. Do not try to falsetto laugh, Chris Tellis. You'll break your fucking vocal cords. Hmm. Like a, well, a pardon the cliche, a, bla a babbling brook. It bubbles out of her. Starting in the belly and working its way up her throat, how do you know so much about how vocal science work? You should be a singer. Hmm. I can't help but laugh myself, it's infectious. Well, I guess I'm pretty unhappy with the salaryman idea. But to be honest, I haven't given much thought to the future recently. You should be a streamer. Hmm. I suppose that, these days, I've been more concerned with living one day at a time. Emmy considers this for a moment and grins. That's a pretty good idea, he's Al. I just wrote, I just wrote down pirate. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Hmm. I'm momentarily stunned, but then I start laughing. I stop myself and manage to gasp out a question. You're not actually serious, are you? You mean with two peg legs? Emmy looks mock offended. 
Well, I've got the legs for it already, so I just kind of think... <laughs> I knew she'd say that. How did I know she'd say that? Two peg legs, baby. Hmm. Even Ren seems amused by this. Just you wait. I'll be the terror of the high seas. They'll make an, they'll make an anime about you. Wait, isn't that the plot of... Azure Lane? Isn't that the plot of Azure Lane? Wait. <laughs> wait a minute. That's the plot of Azure Lane. Hmm. <laughs> I'll show you all. I've even been working on my pirate voice. She suddenly springs up and begins swaggering up and down the rooftop, shouting orders. You hear me, hearties? Give them a broadside with the long guns. We'll wear their guts for garters. Do you even know what that means? Rin's unexpected inter interruption spots Annie in her cracks. Basically, it means they'll skin them and then wear them as shorts. <laughs> Not really. But it's all in the delivery. The ringing, the the, 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 the ringing, Rin is right there. The ringing of the bell prevents her from demonstrating her point further. Emmy dashes off immediately, leaving Rin and myself alone on the roof. Rin stares at me intently for a few moments. Is there something wrong? Rin considers this question closely for a moment. After a lengthy pause, she shakes her head. Nope. So, uh, why the staring then? Rin shakes her head again. No, nope. I don't get it. Get what? The staring thing. You two seem to, but I don't. Great, she saw me staring. She probably thinks I'm a pervert or something. I think Rin's autistic coded. I think, I think she's, I think she's autistic coded. Hmm, because she's, she, she's just like, are you staring at each other? That's what eye contact is. Hmm. I have to, God, it's so hard for me to, eye contact is very hard for me. Hmm. I like, I look at everything but their eyes. I like, I look at their mouth, their, their hand, a, a fucking light on the ceiling. I'll look at anything but their actual eyes. Hmm. Apparently that's like human connection. I'm a carbuncle. <laughs> Actually, probably not. This is Rimmer talking about, after all. Still, I feel the need to defend myself. Mm. Eye contact is overrated. I know. What about... Arm contact. Yeah, hugs. Mm. I was just tired. Well, sleep better then, he said. Oh, God. Mm. Rin actually <laughs> said this, but she doesn't say anything. No, really, I, I was just... Distracted is all. By her eyes that I fell into. I fell into her eyes. Hmm. Now you're probably looking at my eyes, aren't you? VTuber eyes. Yeah. See, if only... Hmm. Maybe I'd look at people's eyes more often if they were intra if they were as interesting as my Oshis. Hmm. You don't have heterochromia. Hmm. Eager to end this conversation, I head back down to glass. You don't have... Golden eyes? <laughs> you don't have... I mean, if you had pink eyes, you'd... people would look at you like you're weird. Um... Hmm. Who else? I'm trying to think if I have any model siblings that have good eyes. I have... I think I have the best eyes out of my art mama's, um... creations. Um... I don't really remember the, what the eyes look like. I know one of them's like a dog healer person. Lupina, yeah, she's pretty cool. Mm. I say she's pretty cool, I've not seen her. Mm. There's a demon dude, he's pretty cool. Uh, who else? Who else am I? VTuber siblings with. There's a knight, he's very cool. Mm. Don't know his name. He's Australian, so I don't really have time to meet up. Also, Australian. I've started putting Australian time zone on, um, on my going live things, because... That makes more sense than Japan time zone, because no one in Japan is going to watch a British VTuber. That that just doesn't make sense. Unless, unless they're Nihongo Josu, which I'm not. Uh, but Australia, when I go live, that's when um, Australian people are... That's like 6 in the morning in Australia. So it'll be like 8 in the morning, and if people get up that early in Australia, they'll be just tuning into this stream now. G'day, mate. G'day. Hmm. So yeah, that's why I replaced uh, Japan time with Australia time, because it just makes more sense. Mm. Uh, it's the central Australian time zone. Australia has, like, mul I looked it up. Australia has multiple time zones, but... You know. You know. Um, right. 
fucking... I'm greeted by the two sp two twin specters of Shizune and Misha, looking like they mean business. Well, Shizune looks like she means business anyway. Misha just looks like she's about to start laughing at any minute. Up on the roof again, he chan You know that's dangerous, don't you? Hmm. That's right. The school cannot be held responsible for any injury that comes from you being up there, you know. Furthermore, we could report you for breaking the rules. Misha leads in and whispers proportionally. But we won't, he chan you three are too cute together. She straightens up again, laughing at my sudden blush. <laughs> You're too easy to tease, he chan Hey, come on. I'm still new here, sort of. Isn't it mean to pick on the newcomer like this? Nope. It's to help you get a, it's to help you get acclimated to your new surroundings. Ah, I see. Well, do you have to be so overzealous about it? Yep. Ah, that aside, he chan we are looking for you this morning, but you weren't in your room. Of course I wasn't. I was out for my morning exercise, both here in class, bright and early. Unlike you. She's an A-looks peeved. <laughs> what a bitch! We're just... What? That I... Why are you being so bitchy about me improving my life, motherfucker? Motherfucker. <laughs> oh, man. That was because of student council business. You should be grateful that we worked so hard for you. Oh, I am, I am. So what do you need me for? Not another attempt to rope me into that dirty work, I hope. Hmm. Hmm. We had to give you something. But since you weren't around, we dropped it off in your room. Something? Like what? Is it weed? <laughs> Is it good weed? Hmm. <laughs> oh, you'll find out when you get back, he chan <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Misha. You laugh like Mario. That's right, Misha. Oh, no. You laugh like Super Mario. Muto entering the room ends our, ends our conversation, and we all head to our seats. It's only after I've settled down at my desk and the teacher started talking about something or other that something odd strikes me. What did Ren mean? Yusu seemed to. Romantic? And I sigh ban Kimi Wabogi. Was Emmy staring at something too? You were staring at each other because you love each other. Mm. For a brief moment, I considered the possibility that Emmy was staring at me the way I was staring at her. Of course, that's ridiculous. Still, I can't deny that I wouldn't mind if it were true. But it's best not to think of that. No need to get my hopes up. Come to think of it, when did I start having hopes like that anyway? When you started watching VTube. <laughs> mm. I shake my head in an attempt to clear it and focus on the lesson. <clears throat> After class, I make my way to my room. Muto really piled on the homework today. Oh god, it's this guy. <laughs> it's this fucker. Before I can open my door, however, I'm suddenly intercepted by Kenji, who has just exploded out of his own room in a flurry of papers. Hi. We need to talk. The rooftop shenanigans of yours, man. They've got to stop. What? You're running around on a rooftop with, like, with a limbless wonders. They're women, man. You'll get yourself killed running around like that. I don't follow. Kenji sighs and adjusts his glasses before what could be understood in his attempt at explaining himself patiently. Look, we're friends, so I'm telling you this for your own good. But if I were going to kill someone, I'd do it by throwing them off the roof and making it look like an accident. And I've thought of it. You can be sure they've thought of it, too. They're crafty. Almost as crafty as I am. I see. Good. I'm glad we had this chat. That'll be 500 yen. I'm sorry? I need to get a drink, man. Uh, he's gonna get a Guinness. <laughs> I've been inside all day and the top water has been compromised. As I'm sure you know. So I need to stock up on something Khan got it. But to do that, I need 500 yen. Whoa, this guy is odd, lol. I know, that's why I gave him an Irish accent. That's why I gave him an Irish accent. <laughs> I'm like, okay, clearly the, clearly the explanation is he's drunk. Right? 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 I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> hmm. And since I've just saved your life with that Tommy advice, you can at least spare me 500 yen. You know, if that'll make him go away, 500 yen's a bargain. I'm gonna pay you. 
I'm gonna pay you five dollars to fuck off. <laughs> what is five hundred yen in pounds? That's like four pounds twenty. That's yeah. That's like four pounds twenty p. I just burped. Oh, that's disgusting. I hand the money over to Kenji, who nods in thanks, and dashes off down the hallway, but not before he locks his door. What an exhausting person. I'd better go, in case he changes his mind. He's the representation of 4chan. Because this game was written by... Game. This visual novel was written by... The 4chan anime board. Um, so... They put... They put Kenji in as a parody of the rest of 4chan. You know, to be like... Damn, these poll people are... Fucking obnoxious. Why don't we put someone in this game... Why don't we put someone in our... Visual novel as, like... A parody of those guys. Because... None of the 4chan boards like each other. Maybe VT and A like each other, because it's anime and anime girls. And anime boys, I guess. There's like one thread for anime boys on VT. <laughs> it's mostly people being like, Wow, this guy's so cute. Wow, this guy's so cute. Wow, this guy's so- Did you hear about this drama? And then all the replies to, Did you hear about this drama are, Shut the fuck up and just enjoy the streams. Shut the fuck up. And <laughs> hmm. Never change, 4chan, never change. Mm. Hmm? As soon as I close the door, my heel taps against something lying on the floor. It's a brightly coloured rectangle of paper. Ah, oh, this must be the something Misha mentioned before. Probably a student council leaflet if she slid under the door. However, when I pick it up, I find that I couldn't have been more wrong. Someone actually wrote, An old-fashioned, handwritten, paper letter. Who bothers doing something like that in the... Who does- who bothers doing something like that in this day and age anyway? Eh. Uh, yet. Yet, as unlikely as the prospect of receiving one sounds. This is definitely a letter I have in my hands. I was planning- I was planning on finishing my homework, getting some dinner, and going to bed in order to be ready for tomorrow morning's run. However, the letter has naturally caught my interest. That's why they do letters, because it's more interesting than sending you a text. Like, I get texts- Like, I get tex- If I get texts from- Vodafone, because I got a new SIM card. They're like, Hello, do you want to get new broadband? My dad buys the broadband. I buy the gas. My dad... <laughs> well, I buy the, I buy the gas sometimes. Mm. I buy the gas sometimes. Mm. <laughs> you know, mm. I help out. That's what I... That's a better way of saying it. <laughs> mm. Right, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't make me pay rent, so... Mm. It makes sense that I'd... Have to chip in somewhere. Hmm, <laughs> right. However, the letter is, I mean... What else am I spending my disability payments on? Hmm, <laughs> stuff for stream? Food? Clothes? And... Other... Things? Yeah, yeah, hmm. However, the letter has naturally caught my interest. I sit at my desk to examine it properly. Oh yeah, if I got a letter from Vodafone, I'd be like, uh, did I not, did, 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 have I not paid for my, have I not paid my SIM card yet? Oh god. <laughs> no, they send me texts whenever it's like, they send me texts whenever one of my bills gets paid, so. Mm -hmm. I have them set up automatically. Mm, direct debit and stuff. That's an easy way of doing it. Oh. Wait, I think I was spoiled on this bit. I think I was spoiled on this bit. Oh god. Okay, what's this? Hmm. It's the first piece of mail I've received here at Yamaku. So I'd feel special even if it wasn't something as rare as a handwritten letter. I spoiled this bit when I was looking for thumbnails! Ah. What causes me even more trepidation is the name of the sender. Neatly written on the back of the envelope. Ivanko. Mm, this would be so much better if I wasn't spoiled by the wiki. Mm, this would be so much better if I wasn't spoiled from being a VTuber. <laughs> oh no. Mm, I have no idea why she would write to me. Uh, I haven't been in contact with anyone from my old school since I was transferred. And Ivanko is the last person I'd expect to write me a letter. The last time I saw Ivanko was terribly awkward. Embarrassingly so. She came to my hospital room. Peeled me an apple out of courtesy. I practically sat in silence for half an hour. She said goodbye. Didn't look me in the eyes when she closed the door. Eh, might have been a natural end to the series of visits. 
They were probably pretty painful for both of us. Yeah, people visit you in the hospital. It's like depressing for them, depressing for you. It's only depressing for you because you're full of drugs. <laughs> God, I had so much. What was it? Morphine? It's probably morphine. Well, something like that. I don't know. After I had a seizure, I was like, that is so fucking loopy in the hospital. I sort of just talk like this over and over. And then when I was out, I was like, damn, I lost a lot of weight. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus. <laughs> mm. Depressing for the ghost in the hospital. Oh, yeah, exactly. Mm. All the soon-to-be ghosts. Mm. If it's... Why do hospitals smell like piss? Oh, God. Mm. Ah. Mm. The ghosts. Stop pissing. Stop pissing in hospitals, ghosts. At least that's what I... At least that's what it smelled like when I went to a hospital. When I was- when I had to go to one, it smelled like piss everywhere. When I go for a checkup, it doesn't smell that bad. <laughs> God, mm, right. Every time she visited me in the hospital, I wanted to talk to her. But something stopped me every time. And every time I didn't speak made this next time even harder. She looked so guilty that I didn't want to say anything. It might upset her. And I could never figure out the right words to say. I think Ivanko blamed herself for my heart attack. That's ridiculous, of course. Uh, but knowing it and believing it are two very different things. I told her that it wasn't her fault. She nodded, and I... Okay, so I knew the letter was from Ivanko. I didn't know what was in the letter. Okay. Mm. That's all I spoiled myself on. Mm. Good, 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 good. Like, I don't really mind events being spoiled, but, like... If you spoil, like, what happens... Specifically, in the actual bit of the thing. Like, I knew people died in Madoka Magica. I didn't know that a specific character dies early in the series. Mm. Mm. So, you know. Very good, very good. Mm. Right. Um, I told her that it wasn't her fault. She nodded. And I think... Uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, I think I'm gonna end stream soon. I'm, <laughs> my voice is getting strained. Mm. She nodded, and I really think she understood that if it hadn't have been like that, then sooner or later something else would have made my heart give out. He went doki doki until his heart went kaboom. Mm. That was the cringiest sentence I've ever said. I don't care. I like cring I like being cringe. No, I like cringe in the way where I like being cringe, not where I like to laugh at cringe compilations, because that's just... Most cringe compilations are just an excuse to bully children. Hmm. Yet she looked so hopelessly sad every time she enjoined that door. She opened that door and entered my room. So I never managed to say the things that I wanted to say. In the end, that might have hurt her even more. Carefully, I opened the envelope and draw out the folded letter from within. There he so. There he so. How are you? I hope you're well and happy at your new school. Everyone here misses you. Almost all of our second year class. Got put together in, in class 3-1 for the final year, so we are pretty comfortable, right? From the beginning of the year. I'm sure you would have been assigned to this class as well. No, that, no, give her a cuter voice. The mood among the third years seems to be very anxious about the final exams, even though they're so far away. The teachers are badgering us about it all the time. Even old Michi, Mr. Tachibana, who is, by the way, our homeroom teacher this year, would you believe it? I was sure he'd retire after the second year. But here he is, nagging everyone about studying for exams. I think things like that are the main reason why the mood among the third years is so nervous. I must admit that I'm somehow losing confidence in myself as well. Even though I've always fared reasonably well in exams. I'm doing a, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a Caitlin Glass-ass voice. She played Diancy in that Pokemon movie. <laughs> It's so weird to think that we're already seniors, isn't it? Time has really thrown past. I'm sh I wonder where it went. Uh, the new first year seems so young and somehow really innocent. I keep wondering if I was like them in my first year. I've been feeling nostalgic about this for the whole first trimester. There are other, thing there are other things I want to say. I'm writing to you because I felt there are many things. There are things I should have said after the incident back in winter. Uh, I really regret that I wasn't able to say them in person. And I have no excuse for it. Yeah. I think I've had quite enough of this. What a load of shite. <laughs> what a load of shit. 
You don't care about me. <laughs> You're just writing this letter out of pity because I'm disabled. You bitch. Hmm. <laughs> I crumple up the sheet of paper and toss it across the room. My aim is off so the letter rolls under my nightstand instead of going into the water basket. Waste basket, not water basket. What the fuck's a water basket, you fucking idiot? Hmm. That was an apology for abandoning me. Except I don't know that I really need it anymore at this point. Yeah, it's like... Why? Who? What are you apologizing for? I don't... I hate when people apologize too much. I get it's like a symptom of social anxiety, but like... You don't need to apologize. It gets annoying after a while where it's like, Damn, do you have any confidence at all? Just stop, stop being sorry for yourself. Never apologize. Ever. <laughs> okay, apologize if it's you actually did a bad thing, but don't apologize for just pointless bullshit like, Oh, I'm sorry if I'm talking too much. Like, I don't do that. I say, I'm talking too much. I want to get on with this story. <laughs> I don't say... If I do say I'm sorry, I don't mean sorry as in like... The genuine way I mean sorry is in like... Oh god, this is probably really boring for you, isn't it? Hmm. This hospital... The hospital seems like a lifetime ago. And here... Now... Got other things on my mind. Emmy, for starters. It wasn't great to be abandoned during my stay. But it's not something I'm worried about anymore. In fact, I hadn't even thought about the hospital in what feels like forever until this letter came in. It's almost annoying to have received it. When you make a tweet and it's like, My nudes in bio! I don't want your nudes, I'm ace! Asexual! No nudes! <laughs> mm. I've got exams to study for myself. I have no time for the past. Now, it is a that sounds like a Crush 40 lyric. This feeling's just a ghost. It's time to face your fears. Oh wait, no, that's not Crush 40. That's a different band worked on... Sonic Frontiers, didn't they? I've not played Sonic Frontiers because... Well, because the game looks shit, but um, the music's good. The music in Sonic games is always good. Mm. Now about their homework. Right, okay, okay, okay. Like I said, voice is a little strained right now, so I'm probably gonna finish right now. Uh, I started the stream a minute early, actually, surprisingly. Um, so I guess that's what happens when I'm not tired. I was excited to stream today, because I didn't stream yesterday. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe my- maybe- okay, my dad gave me a bit of advice of maybe you want to stream less, okay. Experiment. Make me- maybe take like a break in the middle of the week of streaming. Because YouTube doesn't care if you take like one day off in the middle of the week. Hmm. Or like near the end or start of the week. Yeah. Next week I have a stream on Saturday, so I can't really- I don't want- I like streaming, so I don't want to, like, waste my time. Trial and error. Exactly, exactly. I call them experiments. I call them experiments. Uh... Because I'm a nerd. Anyway. Uh, okay, let's leave Katawa Shoujo. Mm. Wow, she's so sad. Anyway. Um... Uh, whoop! Right. Yemlings. It's that time again where we reach the end of our stream. And I hope you've had a good time. Have you had a good time, Gemlings? Um, I'm getting very gassy. Mm, that's not good for my streaming. Mm, it's probably good for my voice. I don't know. It's not, it doesn't really affect, it's pretty, it's benign on my voice, it doesn't really affect it. Whispering does, because you use like the back of your vocal folds, like your falsetto. Yeah, you use your falsetto to whisper and uh, Using oh, using too much falsetto is bad for you. Wow! Mm. Like when I scream, wow! That's not even um falsetto. That's just wow. That's my false chords. It's the falsetto chords, but it's not falsetto. It's like different technique. No wait, this is a fry scream. Yeah, that's what it is. It's fry. Hmm. That hurts your throat less. That yeah, hurts your throat less. I mean, it hurts my throat because I've been speaking for three hours. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Gemlings. I hope you had a good time tonight. I know I definitely did. I know I've, um, I feel like I've improved at streaming. Like, I feel like I've just improved a lot since, um, I've been able to fucking sleep. <laughs> I feel like I've gotten a, be a lot better at actually, like, keeping up with the conversation, going on tangents. Because when I was... During the sleep deprivation arc, 
when I, you know, didn't know why I wasn't able to sleep as good, um, I would, like, watch streams of VTubers and be like, how can they, how can they be so, how are they so creative? I don't understand. But now I get it. They, <laughs> they were able to sleep. They were able to sleep good and their brain worked. Hmm. I asked, I asked Apollo Kepler on stream. He was like, my doctor calls it maladaptive daydreaming. <laughs> He's so iconic. Hmm. He's an idol, but like the religious kind. Oh, anyway. Ah, uh, no one cares about my indie Yoshi. Um, right. Gemlings, I hope you've had a good book club, I guess. I hope you've been good at listening. Yeah, you've been good at listening. You've been good at listening. You've not actually, you've not really said much. That's, that's, that's good. Gives me more opportunity to go on tangents. Hmm, good stream. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Rosie. I'm glad you appreciate it. And I'm gonna be... going. I have nothing to do, so I'm gonna go leave. Bye! Kesho Thanks for coming. I'll see you next time.